Go, I probably do that. Oh, shit. Here we are. Oh. Oh. Oh, we did the thing, Rim. It's live from the Nissan Sentra that Randy rented. Yeah, it was supposed to, to be a Tesla. Fuck you, Hertz. Fuck, that's fucking Hertz. So I'm here. This is Rim, and I got with me the one and only... Randy, what's Randy. up? Go for Randy. What's up? Go for Randy. That's right. We just are leaving Mama and Papa Rem's 50th anniversary party. Yeah, I had wine for the can first you, time. Can you hold that so oh. I, I can focus on driving? Because I'm driving. I wouldn't let Randy drive me anywhere. Even though I have 10,000 hours behind the wheel, you cuck. I probably have about that much myself. Yeah, you're 10 years older than me. The seat's weird in this 2023 Nissan Sentra that we're driving. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's silver. It's got Apple CarPlay at least. So here's sure. here's what's nice about this is that my wife has a 2015 Nissan Murano that I drive. Oh. And a lot of the controls are the same. Oh, yeah. What, what do you think Cody's doing right now? Uh, probably jerking off to like a blonde <laughs> or something. I don't know. Let's not play this one on the show. We'll just put it on after the next one. Oh. Yeah. Well, all right. So Randy... Randy, you're here in Connecticut. You came all the way out here from Ohio to to celebrate Mama and Papa Rem's 50th anniversary party. Uh, yeah, I did. So let's talk about the uh, the party. What's what do you what are your thoughts? You guys are like five level fancier than I ever been at. Like, yeah. like fuck. Like there was five things going on at this fucking place. I guess like two weddings, your shit, and like two other things. I don't even know. Yeah. And like there was a guy in a white jacket and a red shirt who was like, you know, if you need anything. So that I used to be a strip club. Oh, see, really? See that brick, that stone building right there? Yeah. That used to be a strip club. Oh. No, now it's, it's a restaurant that's closed. <laughs> I, I used to go there to go visit the strippers. During the day? No. at a buffet? At nighttime. Oh. Oh, well, that's cool. I've never eaten food at a strip club. Why? Well, why would you? Well, I never have either. Yeah. I've been in one strip club for like 30 seconds. It's been a long time for it me. an accident. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I used to drink Rolling Rock. Rolling Rock? What yeah. the fuck is Rolling? Sounds like rock gut. It's a beer. Rolling Rock. Oh. It's from Pennsylvania, Latrobe, PA. I don't know. I it's not that good. Like I thought it was good at the time, but then I was like, I was drinking Rolling Rock at the fucking strip club. I'm like, you know what? This isn't that good. I you know how we got Pennsylvania? What? The fucking king of England was like, hey, bro, here's 45,000 square miles of forest. You oh. can do something with it. And, and then it, the Pennsylvanians fucking ruined it. Yeah, fuck you, fuck Pennsylvania. You. It, was, it was forests. Bitch asses. Yeah, like, yeah. fucking give it back to the animals, motherfuckers. And, and to the indigenous folks. Yeah. Bring them back to life. God somehow. bless the indigenous. Because without the indigenous, we would be indigenous. <laughs> so, <laughs> Randy, you got to spend the last two, uh, oh shit, last four and a half hours with people from my family and extended family. What did you think? Um, in a word. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, like, you fucking do. Like, not one person was salty towards me at all. No. Like, I expected there to be, like, one lady that I couldn't get over with, but, like, no, nah, it was pretty easy. Like, you okay. Know? Yeah, I know, Randy. I you... felt like your father-in-law was ready to invest in me. Was he? Yeah. Like, I don't even know what you guys talked about. What'd you talk about with my, with my father? I don't know. I couldn't really hear him. I just kept saying Dave Ramsey a lot. Yeah. And he fucking kept smiling. So. He loves that. Yeah. Oh, yeah he loves that shit. Yeah. Yep. He, I just let him talk a while and be like, yeah, yeah, Dave Ramsey. And then he would talk more. See, perfect. You nailed it. That's how you get off. Uh, get over with him. Get off? Get off on your father in law? <laughs> that's how you get over my father in law. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Freudian slip there, bud. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what I was trying to do. Right. I just couldn't pull it off. So yeah. the most important thing of the night was that I had to give a 50th anniversary speech for my parents. Killed it. Fucking. Thank you. Fuck you for giving me a shout out though. so yeah i gave randy a shout out and i was like listen i want to introduce somebody this is randy he came all the fucking way over here from ohio for no reason other than he wanted to meet my parents because he heard about them so much on all the bullshit i did on the internet yeah i tried to tell him how like you know like when i was growing up like i would picture tv families because you know like you know my parents and all that um and uh like but then in my 20s, I was listening to podcasts and I heard you talk about your parents. So like they became like the fantasy parents yeah. that I never had. And like I got to meet them and they were fucking amazing. Your dad, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. He is fucking. He's something else. That, yeah. that is a gift to the fucking world. Yeah. And your mom too. Like, don't get me wrong. Well, my mom's a special one of the two of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, but uh, he, uh, I just like, like, yeah, your dad like owns the room. When he wants to, he can. Yeah, that's yeah. where I get it from. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I can see that. I didn't realize it until I don't know a few years ago, but like my dad, like wherever you go, if there's the head of a table, he that's where he's sitting. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like he will, he will move a chair to 
to the head of the table so he can fucking sit there. Yeah, and then I fucking sat in his chair to talk to Mama Rem. <laughs> and he walked up to me, and I thought he was going to beat my ass. He was pissed at something. Yeah. He had a scowl on his face. What the fuck are you doing in my chair? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, and, and like, so I jumped up real quick, like, I'm so sorry. And he and he just ignored me, like, I don't think he heard me. Yeah. And I stood there awkwardly for, like, 35 seconds. <laughs> and then he finally looked at me, and he's like, sit down. And I'm like, oh, okay. All right. I can't do the, I can't do the accent. You got, you got to meet the Italian stallion? Oh, fuck it. I think the Italian Stallion wants me to move in with him. Yeah, you got over a big with the Italian Stallion. And the Italian Stallion's brother, who loves your Jesus art, man. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Bill's fan, but used to be a Bengals fan, so we talked about that a lot. Yeah. I, and then I realized how much I really don't like football, like, 30 seconds into that. But you gotta, you gotta pretend, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I, I sold yeah. it. Yeah, he, no. he really loves football. Oh, I was just like, yeah, Joe Burrow, like, yeah. fucking touchdown! I, re- I remember when he was a Bengals fan, and he had the Bengals helmets and shit, and, like, got the jerseys and stuff all up in his room and everything. And then all of a sudden, he became a Bills fan one day. Yeah, he and, said in 87 yeah. he was a Bengals fan, 88 when they went to the Super Bowl fucking Bills fan. And that was cool, <laughs> though, because I became a Bills fan with him, you know, oh. at the time. Um, but then I became, like, I started becoming a fan of, of quarterbacks. So, uh, oh. like, I like Drew Bledsoe and Jim Kelly and... I mean, Tom Brady was way better than fucking Bledsoe. Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and, yeah, I don't watch football. I watch wrestling now. Yeah, yeah. it's way better. Randy, okay, so let me ask you, my friend. Yep. And be brutally honest with me because that's what I need in my life. But... Like, I had to give a speech, right? And I had to read it off my phone because I forgot my paper. But it turns out probably it was better to read it off my phone. Um, but my wife told me it was too long. My wife said it went on, went on too long. What do you think? Did it go on too long? I think you could have went another 20 minutes. Yeah. Like, you had the whole room. Except for the only, only like, no. Just a no. No, give it to me. It's fine. Figure out your water situation. Like, oh. fucking, like, lost a lot of momentum with the water thing. Yeah, so that's a problem, right? It's like when we do the podcast, I got a bottle of water in my hands, and you guys are talking, and I can take a sip of, sip of water while you guys are talking. Well, you know the answer. Like, let me do the coast speech. Like, you know, like yeah. whenever you're drinking water, I'll just be like, I know, oh, Ohio. You know, I <laughs> I didn't want to put that pressure on you though, bro. Oh, I thrive under pressure. Oh, okay. Pressure makes diamonds on me. Well, that's true, huh? All right, so listen, Randy, right now we're driving through Cromwell. This is where your hotel is. We're going to go. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna Shout go. out to the Super 8 swanky place. Yeah. They, they, they were legit enough to go ahead and remove the smoke detector because oh. they knew I was going to party. My man. Yeah. Yeah. Killing it out there. No smoke detectors in the Super 8. I hope you have GPS in this car because I'm not driving you back to your hotel room. I'm driving you. We're going to go to a bar. We're going to have a drink. And then I'm going to drive myself home and you're going to figure out your way back to your hotel. Oh. How's that sound? Will I have service? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you will. I mean, what, you got 5G or what? Like, Verizon. You got Verizon? Yeah. Or I just switched over to AT&T. Yeah. How's that going? Uh, it's going good because because I'm a veteran. They put me on the line that gets priority. <laughs> That's such a bullshit market. Is it a bullshit thing? <laughs> <laughs> they fucking... Yeah, we care about our first responders and veterans. We're going to give them a special band just to get them to buy our shit. Oh, shit. So it's not real? Well, no, it's a real thing, but it, like, it's not that different. It's like, you know, like a walkie-talkie being on Channel 2 instead of 1. Okay. You know, like, there is less chatter on it. Like, you know, so, so you got that. Yeah. Like, in 5G deployments especially, it'll be better. Um, but, uh, like, whenever you're in cities, because it gets... Because I see 5G+. plus show up on my phone uh, yeah. is that good that's bullshit uh, well so what that is is that's a certain there's two types of 5g there's like but nobody fucking cares about this what the fuck are we doing uh, <laughs> your parents just had a 50th wedding anniversary and you fucking didn't tell me it was a bring a card kind of thing i brought a gift like a fucking idiot why no dude, your gift is awesome man it was a fucking it's a bunch of art and a poem that references me a lot but vaguely yeah. oh dude I, I i was trying to like i told the intern when they were writing it like mention it from my perspective as a friend on the internet but make the sun the most important thing that the parents ever did yeah now, that was some notes I gave the intern okay and that was like the seventh version of the poem uh, but it's cool because my great grandmother wrote poetry so like I fed it some of her poems oh right had, yeah I had her kind of write it okay yeah so. she a famous poet that got that got published self-published self-published alright she sold them at the Portsmouth or fuck where in fucking like 1929 yeah Oh, all right. Where yeah. up? 
Yeah. All right. All right, yeah, so listen, better. Randy, we're entering Middletown, Connecticut. Oh, this is where uh, you're like... Uh, this, is, this, is, this is a very special place to me. This is yeah. where I grew up. All right, these are my stomping grounds oh. as well. All right, so I'm, I'm in, you know, Middletown is, is a big deal. There's a lot going on here in Middletown. See this bridge? Yeah. This bridge is called the Aragoni Bridge, Randy. Uh-huh. And just recently it had a, had a um, it got commemorated on a postage stamp. On a what? Postage stamp. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That, so, that, that doesn't happen very often. I don't no, know. it's like, I feel like I just, instead of going to a bar, I just kind of want to drive you around places and show you like where I grew up and stuff. Yeah, that's cool too. Yeah, but. I, uh, I did that with Kristen whenever I took her to my home. Did you really? Yeah. Uh, oh. It's cool because like there's a lot of artwork, so like I got to show her that. Okay. And like, you know, they're famous for a flood where a lot of people died. Oh, so, shit. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, then they built flood walls, so okay. it's fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it motivated them to, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> they were like, ah, never again. You know, like people were on the roof. Right? Like, uh, <laughs> like, and if you go, like all the old buildings, they all have a line where the fucking water went to. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. So, like, this right here, this is St. John's Church. Holy shit, that's a legit fucking church. <laughs> that's like St. Mary of the Angels in Chicago. Yeah, it's a big one. Fuck. Yep. I bet in that building, dude, they totally, like, killed crazy people. Um, probably some, no, no, the crazy, the crazy hospital is actually that end of town. I oh, can, oh, my bad. I can show you the crazy hospital. Oh. Um, I actually, I, I grew up kind of like a couple streets away from the crazy hospital. Huh? Uh, yeah, no, like in fucking 1989, some guy escaped from the crazy hospital and there was a parade here on main street and that dude killed a little girl. She was like nine years old. He came, he stabbed oh. the shit out of her and killed her. Right. It was awful, Fuck. awful, awful. And the news came around the neighborhood interviewing people who lived by the crazy hospital. And they interviewed my mom. Oh. Yeah. So my mom got interviewed, but me being a stupid asshole at eight years old, whatever I was, nine, I'm fucking, I don't remember. Um, as she's being interviewed by the news, I, I decided to throw my hands up and give her bunny ears behind her head. <laughs> and, then, and then the news guy's like, hey, if you do that, she, my mom's not going to be on the news. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. And then they didn't put her on the news. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> well, yeah, this is and I bet she had like the like she's the perfect person for that interview. Yeah, too. because she was she was the bitch who said, "I'm not scared of anything, really. What's gonna happen is gonna happen. Like fuck it, like, who cares?" Right? You hear about that guy who just escaped in Pennsylvania? No. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some guy you, you remember that Justin Robert Young guy? Like, yeah. Well, one of his friends who does the a podcast called like the Reload. Yep. It's about guns or something. Uh, he had to pack up his guns and go defend his parents' fucking farm from that guy. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. He, he like was like on their farm. He had to shoot his AR-15 into the woods. Oh, shit. Yeah. Hey, so we're at the north end of Main Street right oh, now. Oh, sorry. No, no, you're fine. And I just wanted to tell you that I actually, I lived in two places at north end of Main Street. Like, oh. Up there and up th- over there. I, I got here. Wells Fargo's here? Uh, yeah, we do. Well, we don't have those in Ohio. Yep. We're not um, we also have Wesleyan University. Univer- University. No, those are everywhere. Wesleyan University. No. Um, no. So it's, it's a big college town. So Main Street... So Middletown is a very, um, very liberal, progressive town, city. Okay. All right. So. Is that um, why gas is fifty cents high? Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's you know Democrats run this fucking place and running it into the ground. Um, but we're about to cross our Pride Walk here, and oh. it's, it's got the fucking Pride trans flag painted across the side. Like, look, see this right? Oh. Uh, do they have to update see? it when they change the flag? Or? Uh they did update it. <laughs> it wasn't rainbow. Then they fucking had to add all the other bullshit to it too. Okay, so here's some bitches going into the bar where we're going to La Boca. La Boca. Yeah, but oh. I gotta find some parking first. Oh, okay. And like, I, mother- I don't walk on me. Oh, fuck. Like, these shoes are so tight. Bro, you're gonna have to fucking walk. I'm sorry. <laughs> I oh. had to fucking, I fucking flew all the way out of here with just Crocs for a fucking 15th of anniversary. Okay, okay, this is gonna be a problem because there's no fucking parking. <laughs> uh, figure it out, man. Like, you're a big fucking deal. I gotta just make people move. Oh, shit. No, it's in there. Okay. All right. Nobody okay. behind me so I can act like it. Okay. So we can park right here. We can walk up a little bit. Oh. That's think. like three blocks on me. It's one. Oh, that's not even a parking spot. <laughs> fucking bullshit. This town sucks. It fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> here we go. Do you have to pay or is it like free? No, money? after 6 p.m. you don't have to pay. Oh, yeah. They don't want to pay people. Yeah. All right. Oh, we got to end this somehow now, right? Yeah. So we'll be back in a few minutes. Randy and I are going to get a drink. I'm not going to stay out too late because I don't want to stay out too late. I'm old. Oh, bitch. Fuck you, Randy. Fuck you. Look, the thing says Days in Wyndham. Like, where the fuck was Days in Wyndham? It was close to that restaurant. Back, back over there. Yeah, because I, when I was driving there, I was like, there's a lot of so, fucking hotels near the restaurant. When Fit and I used to hang out. Oh, we, I tried to bring him up to somebody and I didn't know his name. We would go to La Boca. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh-uh. Are you, you feel taking weird? me to a place where you... Does this feel weird to you? No, is this where you played music? 
We did play music here once. Text Sandra and his band. Huh? Sandra and his band. Oh, I should. All right, I'll text her in a minute. Oh, no, I don't know. That's a little late. Uh, she texted me to give me something about Huel being in ISIS and judging people. And then I was like, hey, what's up, girl? How you doing? And then she didn't like really respond. Oh, send her a picture of my cleavage. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. Well, for you, it'll be a second. And for us, it'll be a few minutes. All right, bye. Bye. Okay. Hello. Hi. So we're back. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll hold your phone. I'm, I'm driving Randy's rental car back to my home. Yeah, he won't let me drive, even yeah. though I'm like a master driver. And he's probably... Uh-oh, uh -oh, you're getting a call. Who's yeah, hold on. Is it Cody? No, it's Kristen. Oh, hello? Go for Randy and Rim. <laughs> we're recording, okay, too. Uh, oh, yeah, I just left the bar. Me and Rim went to a bar afterwards. I'm taking him through Crackenberry Junction. We're having a good time. Yeah, he's pointing Hi. out, like, all of the shit. Like, you know how when I took you to my hometown and, like, showed you everything? Yeah. It's kind of like that, but better. Doing the same thing with hand jobs, so it's fine. Yeah, he can drive and give a hand job. Yeah. With lube. No, he does it with his mind. Oh. <laughs> and he used spit, not lube. Quit calling spit lube. You should have took, took the little sleeve thing that we got. See, from the you got a sleeve. Oh, oh, yeah, that's... Like in Grand Rapids, uh, this bed and breakfast, like we got there, guy was cool. Yeah. Told us that like a refrigerator fucking guy owned the house or something. Showed us a refrigerator that All he right, built. Do you want to talk to Kristen though? Oh, no. Hey, babe, I love you. Bye. Love you. I was just checking on you, honey. Huh? I was just checking on you. You haven't fucking responded in three hours. Oh, no, he's good with me. I got him, Kristen. He's fine. Yeah, like, yep. good, good stress in there, girl. My family loves him. He's probably going to come back next week and never leave again. <laughs> I'm going to be Rims Casey you're, Casey. You're, you're responsible for him. I'm sorry. That's why I'm driving. <laughs> Thanks, though. Thanks, though. Even though he handles his liquor way worse than me. Just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway. Well, so. has Mike showed up yet? No, no, no Mike we haven't found show, Mike. Yeah, Mike doesn't show up when we're driving. Mike only shows up when we're home and he can relax. Yeah, yeah, he's oh, he's okay. weird. He doesn't, like, he walks everywhere. Yeah. He's a walker, old but, Mike, and he has a Segway. Yep. Or he traded in for a hoverboard, I think, though. He fell. He fell off his hoverboard. Oh, really? No, he fucking bu oh, busted his fucking head, Mike did, on the fucking hoverboard. So he's going back to the Segway, but he traded in the Segway. He can't find another one because all those fucking people who sold Segways... They don't sell segways no more. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. It yeah. was a good invention. I want one of those military ones with the fucking with Uzis. the big ass wheels and the Uzis. And yeah, shit. Like you yeah. can go thirty five miles an hour through the fucking <laughs> woods on a yeah. segway. Anyway, America. All right, love you, babe. I love you too. Love you bye. too. Bye. I'll call you when I get to the hotel or bye. something. All right, bye. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> here. Anyways, sorry about that. Sorry, people of the world. No, it's fun. Oh, was it? Yeah, this is my exit. This is my exit. This is exit used to be exit nine. Now yeah. it's another exit. I don't know the number. Oh, good call. <laughs> yeah. So I'm about to take you up a long, dark, winding road to my house. I'm taking Randy. Can we go to Killingworth instead? No. Oh, fuck. What? Killingworth is down. It's not where I live. I don't live in Killingworth. It's just a cool name. Yeah. That should be a beer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Uh, Have you ever had Satan's... Uh, or I'm not... I'm Devil's, not Devil's Hop Yard? No. Um, Satan's Taint? No, it had nothing to do with Satan, sorry. Oh. Um, Iron Fist the Impaler. No. Great, great beer. Oh. I've, I've tastes like that. Satan's dick. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, that, that's where the Satan came from. What does Satan's dick taste like? Is it salty or is it just hot? I'm not sure. It was a guy named uh, Eric that I worked with at Best Buy. Eric from True Blood? Like Eric Nordstrom? What the fuck was his name? Eric Nord, Norder, Norder, Norderruder? This was a fucking Western. Do you remember that shit from, from True Blood? Eric, the fucking the Northman? I never watched True Blood. Kristen's watching it right now and I refuse to watch it because like she always starts it without me and I always end up coming in like for like a certain Bro. episode where the stupid shit happens. You, see, everybody was all about like Bill and Sookie in True Blood but the fucking shit was deal, the deal was with Eric. Eric Northman, maybe, because he was a he was fuck, he was a Viking, and then oh. he became a vampire. He was a, a vampire Viking. Well, that's not fair. Yeah, well, whatever that's, that's it was, like if they had gay Vikings, yeah, it's I mean, not fair. They kind of fucking like focused on Eric, and Eric he was sexy as fuck too. By the way, like, yeah. he was he was a sexy dude. He's he's one of the scars guard. I can't remember which scars guard he is, but he's a scars guard. Oh, yes, yeah. this is my road. This is well, one of the roads that I'm on. Oh. This is the road to get up here, right? So. Yeah. This looks like legit where my grandparents live. Yeah. 
See, we got we got a real sharp turn left. You got any cricks around? So here? check it out. Like these people, like ah! I, don't, I don't know what the fuck they're doing in the drive. I don't know how they get their garbage there. But they got a whole pile of fucking rubble in front of their driveway like, to block See, it off. Can we go back so I can three hundred kick that trash can? <laughs> I don't know if they're gearing up from like militia activities out here or what, but uh, yeah, I yeah, don't, that, I don't, I don't that, that was a fucking yeah. wall. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Garbage. They must be French. I saw a lady there like before they put that wall up. Well, they built the the road the way they did, and she drove her car out there. But yeah. then they put more of the wall up, so I don't know how they get in and out of their house. Why, why don't you just get a fucking gate? Like I, yeah, like, like you don't the, want people in just fucking get a gate. They have them yeah. now with solar power. Like yeah. they're fine. Like fucking idiot. And these people here were having like they had a food truck at their house last Thursday, and they were having a big party and shit. So maybe they had their own 50th anniversary party. I don't know. Ah, do they yeah. shoot guns? No, I didn't hear any guns. Oh, um, my, coming my up ahead, we, we've got a very old cemetery. Oh, I like cemeteries. Yeah. So this one up here is a cemetery. Like the the founder of fucking Brown University is buried in this cemetery right here. Oh, that's uh, yeah. that's a good wall for a cemetery. Yeah, so my son had to do, like, a school project on this shit, so we had yeah. to go through there and explore and everything. And it's from, like, the 1600s, early 1700s. Oh. So fuck. there was people out here, like, back fucking 400, 500 yeah, years ago. one of the maybe. original 13. Yeah. Were, were they Puritans? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, we should look that up. Quakers? Quakers. Yeah, fuck Quakers. Yeah, my, my road is Quakers. a U, so that's the beginning of the U, and everybody takes the wrong way around the U. Oh, yeah, when I lived down in the middle of nowhere, that's how it was. There was yeah. U. So we're going up here. Went up this hill. A dude in his truck almost ran me off. Well, he did run me off the road. He almost killed me. Oh, fucking th- come out! That happened driveway. to me when I had the Ford Fiesta. Oh shit, really? Uh, yeah, I was on my grandparents' road, and this dude like fucking like it's an error. It's an error. See, people this. are assholes. Well, yeah, but he fucking the the funny thing is, like I slid off the road and into a ditch, and like dented my or broke my bumper Damn. and like needed a radiator. They towed it out the car because they were catching on fire. So. so. I gotta tell you something. See, see this chair right here, here on the on the sidewalk. Uh huh. I was sitting in that chair today. I called Comcast, and I'm like, Comcast, I need to cancel my shit. And I leaned back in my chair to put my feet up on a bench that I have in my house, and it fucking broke. You got and the goddamn sharp end of the fucking chair went right into my back. And I'm like, ah! And oh. It still fucking hurts. It was earlier today. You know, there's a reality where you like lose. Uh, you, yeah, you, I lost your legs. Lose my legs. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is my home. Holy shit! Yeah. Ram. You're doing good for yourself, Oscar. We're doing, we're doing okay. You're doing good, homie. We're, we're all right. You got trees and shit? I need new siding and a new roof and stuff. No, I got, fucking I, everybody. I got knows. brand new windows last year. You know how a house is a liability, not an asset, right? Yeah. Because so, you got to pay taxes. Oh, it's fucking it's bitch-ass fucking shit, dude. Rich Dad, Poor Dad taught me that. Yeah, it's a good book. Oh, okay. I wanted to tell your uh, dude at the thing, the Dave Ramsey guy, about it. but uh, my, my father-in-law? Oh, I don't know if I could say it. Yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It seemed like a secretive guy. Look uh, at Route Nine South is where we started recording. That's cool. Look at that shit. I got recordings on this from fucking 2021. Oh, like the only recording I have is from work, and it's titled "Big Pussy Jennifer." Nice. I'm not gonna tell you. That. All right, Randy. So we're here with the end of our, our gathering. You know, we went it out so fast. We had man. my my parents' 50th anniversary party where you got over like a big shot. God I bless I did. you. You really did. You and I did. fucking showed up in joggers and a fucking yeah. polo. The Italian stallion said to me, I love that guy. And I'm like, oh, shit, that's awesome. And he kept so, telling me he loved my heart or something. Yeah, so way to go. Or art. Maybe all the other guy was telling me, is the one guy, and then, this, this his brother, was telling me he liked the art. Yeah, the Jesus yeah. Jesus art. Yeah, Jesus, yeah. I, yeah. I mixed him up, sorry. Yeah, the Italian son's brother loves his Jesus art, yep. Yeah. And then we went to La Boca, a bar in, in Middletown that yeah. I used to go Rim to. Rim was shit. trying to get in a fight because he knew I would... You know, take care of it. Yeah, that's true. Well, listen, there were there were some some chicks that walked in trying to have like a girls' night, and then some dude walked over trying to like invade the girls' night. And I didn't maybe really... it was one of the girls' brothers. You ever think about that? I mean, it could have been. Yeah, but I don't care. He was like, like they left together. I like the story in my head better. Oh yeah, head cannon. Yeah, Randy. We never called chance. Cody though. Ah, uh, hey, I'll call him right now. Yeah. While we're recording. yeah, call Cody up right now. See if he answers. And it's only like what? What do you think? Are we going to put this at the beginning of 178? Or are we going to put this at the make end? this 178. Just make this whole thing 178? <laughs> no, we, we need to get back to doing shows, man. Yeah, no, we'll do one this week. <laughs> like, my my quality of life is going to be better. Oh, good. Okay, so Randy is calling it's coming Cody. through the Sentra. Coming through the Sentra speaker system. Let's see if he answers. I don't think he's going to He fucking answer. answered. Oh, shit. Hello. Hey, Cody. Cody! You're live on the Rich Dickman Show. I am. Well, kind of. Where's the, spe- yeah, where's the speaker coming from? It's there. literally at max. It's a oh, shitty car. Not well. It's a really shitty car, Rim. I was supposed <laughs> to have a Tesla. I ended up with a Sentra. Whole fucking thing. Fuck hurts. 
Anyways, Cody, how you doing, bud? Yeah, I'm good. Is now a bad time? No, I'm showing hanging out. He just woke up. Yeah, yeah. He's no, the... fuck you. It's 7 p.m. almost. <laughs> I got to walk dogs in 30 minutes. Oh, oh, shit. Well, good. We can talk to you for 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, you sound like you jerked off at 6 o'clock and took a nap. Cody, you got to see this present that Randy got me. It's like a big transformer robot battery thing. I don't know what to do with it. Like, where do I press? To, is that it? Yeah. Cody, Randy is literally in my driveway right now. What do you think about that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, are, are, is everything consensual? Is he consensual in your driveway? I mean, we haven't started hand jobs yet, but I assume it would be con consensual. Oh, I'm not down for that. Sorry. No? All right. He's not down for that. So, no. Way to, way to try and figure out if yeah. I am, though. No, no consensuality whatsoever. I'm going to yeah. have to go jerk off on my own. Yeah. I mean, when you say it like That's that. That's not go, consensual, is it? Yeah. Go get some lotion. <laughs> I'll lotion. figure it out. You got any Jergens? That's my favorite for jerking off. Cody, what's your favorite lotion for jerking off? Uh, Jergens? Yeah! <laughs> I knew he was a Jergens man. I, I mean, I, I'm lying. I just use spit I mean, and garlic butter, but no. Cody, I miss you. I can't. I'm sorry. I missed last episode. I was. I'm just burned out. Um, but I'm gonna be there oh, this good, week. Man. We'll get together. We'll get together on Wednesday or Thursday, probably Thursday, and we'll do I'll it. You. We'll do a thing. I miss you. I wish you were here. I miss you, man. Randy got over like fucking Rover, bro. Yeah, like, I was just thinking that. Yeah. I didn't know you were gonna say that. Like I, he he fucking got over with my family like a million bucks. Everybody nice. fucking loved him. Only because you shouted me out in the Ooh. speech and tried to make me cry in front of everybody. Yeah, I made Randy cry in front of everybody because I, I I said tried. I yeah, mean, I didn't cry like a bitch because I was talking about how my mom was like very inf had a very uh, impactful legacy on people, right? From Triple T and shit. And I'm like, I want to introduce somebody. All right. This guy, Randy, fucking came all the way from motherfucking Ohio to be here, sight unseen. You know, and my wife couldn't understand it. My wife's all like, what the fuck is this idiot coming from fucking Ohio for who's never met anybody? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is that all about? What's that? Just, just, uh, yeah. Oh. yeah. All you do is just breathe in. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, Cody. It was, I know I have one of those. It was way fucking fancier than I'm used to. Holy shit. How's These the guys know how to party. How was the food? It was pretty good. Was like, good. But, but my stomach was fucked up from that restaurant I had at this morning, so like I didn't get to eat at all. Oh, okay. I felt bad, but it was very well flavored. Yeah. Cody, it was the same restaurant, basic, basically the same people who own... Remember when we went out last year when you came out to Connecticut with Amara? Of course. Yeah, yeah. So the person who owns that place also owns the place we were at. But oh, was, Italian Hibachi. Yeah, it was Ital yeah, yeah. Italian Hibachi, Inc. Perfect. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't so, know it was the same people. Yeah, same people. I fucking that motherfucker was serious. He had like food. five things going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah we don't big, fuck around. Big place. Yeah, yeah no, the the Dickmans, man. We don't fuck around when it comes to celebrations and food. Not a, not even no. a little. But I fucking, was, you know what Rim didn't tell me? Fuck you, by the way. He he didn't tell me that it was the kind of event where you just bring a card full of money. So like, I went and got a real gift, and I was like the only motherfucker who had a bag besides Rim. Nice. <laughs> And I was like, oh, yeah, like I made a craft and bought your husband some liquor. I hope you like it. Uh, yeah, it was awkward. Yeah, but we missed you. You would have you had a good time. I'm sorry I couldn't, like, run out there. Hey, Cody, do you want to come to Colorado next month? We're looking to add some more people to our bachelor party uh, just to reduce the cost. Yeah. <laughs> what a pitch. <laughs> Colorado. If you go, I'll figure it out. Yeah, think about it, okay? Okay. I think they got okay. mushrooms in Colorado. I'm not. No, like they're legal. That, they're, they're decriminalized, yeah. but you can't like buy them at Walmart. Shit, I can't go to. Fuck, that was my plan. I was like, oh, you just gotta dude, just fucking go to a bar and look plug. for the security guy and be like, yeah. yo, dude, I need some shrooms. Okay. Yeah. Like, All right. I'll... Security guys at bars are always good plugs. Then my father-in-law, he comes to me, is like, hey, should I go to this bachelor party too? And like, <laughs> all, all I'm thinking of is like, yeah, I want you to go because it reduces my cost. Um, but I couldn't really say that. So I was like, listen, father-in-law, um, if you go and there's activities that you don't want to do, well, don't worry. I probably don't want to do them either because I'm old. So we can just, we can just hang out. We can just sit You back. guys can just sit around the table going harumph together. Yeah, in the woods. Yeah. Just being pricks about yeah, everything together. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, listen. You could do cigars in the forest. Yeah. Oh, cigars in the Cigar forest. Hike. Oh shit, that's a great idea. Yeah, you See, should sell that experience on Airbnb. You know, I gotta talk to Cody more often about stuff like this. Cause Cody has like these brilliant, ideas. like cigars in the forest. I never would have thought about. Oh, you never have done a cigar in the forest. Don't start no fires. Well, yeah. Well, it'll be. 
I guess that's winter for Colorado. I'm going October 19th. I'm going, so it's probably going to be. I got like married 20 in degrees. November and still use the fucking hot tub. Was it 20 degrees out? 22. Yeah. Like if we use the hot tub at the Airbnb, we got to pay like 200 bucks. That's stupid. I know a fucking Airbnb. Let, is let a me fucking send you scam. the cabin I got married in. Anyway, uh, too late. We already booked it. Oh, uh, my cousin came and like. My brother-in-law and his then fiance uh, got in the hot tub, and my cousin's like, "I didn't bring a suit, so I'm just going in my underwear." Oh shit! And he like went in, and it was like it was hilarious because the brother-in-law's girl like blushed, like because like my cousin's got a six pack, he doesn't fuck around. Uh, like, <laughs> like he goes to the athletic club, uh, and uh, he took me there when I went to the Royal Rumble. Like we fucking walked through the athletic club. Through the kitchen, because he knows the people. Like, you know, like, we had a secret entrance, so we didn't have to wait in line with all the pores. Um, and uh, we sat there, and he just let me know how, like, I'm the only family he's really got. And I was like, oh, man, that's so sweet. Because, like, he, he couldn't come to my bachelor party, so he took me to the Royal Rumble instead, which was, Dave Meltzer said, was the worst event of, of the year. Uh, so you're boring Cody right now. Cody's oh, like, sorry, he's got to go walk dogs. Yeah, I'm sorry, Cody. I, I love you, buddy. Love you too, guys. Hey, Cody, uh, I'm going to let you go. Yeah. I gotta, I'm going to go in my house right now because I'm sitting in my driveway. Because he's a pussy-ass bitch. Fuck you, dude. I came all the way from fucking Ohio. Bro, I spent It's fucking... just like when Cody and I came here. You gave us two and a half hours. Yeah, but this is six hours tonight. Six and a half. Six and a half hours. Oh, and I bought oh, you a drink. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. You fed me too. Yeah. Technically. See? Or someone did. Okay, I don't know why people want to spend any time with me whatsoever. Cody. I um, love you, man. Cody, you genuinely make my life better. I've been asking Randy for the art for the Stony. I fucking episode. send it to you. I don't have anything from you, motherfucker. Did you get art from Randy? No, by I accident, sent it to Cody? you directly when you were bitching about it last night. I just want to publish uh, the episode. It's Stony Curiosity. Here. I'm gonna fucking show you this, uh, and you're gonna feel real fucking stupid. Cody, I can't believe you answered actually. So I, thank dude, you. Dude, he answering. always answers me. Does he? Yeah, he never love doesn't you guys. answer. I love you too, buddy. He, like, well, he's used to me, like, needing talked off the ledge, though. Yeah. Um, All right. Fucking, okay. fucking there's the art. Oh, that's a memory stick. That's art? Yeah. Oh, I thought that was your pants. You were asking me if it was okay. And I'm like, what the, I didn't want it to be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Legit, when you were asking me if the if these were okay. Yeah, because you didn't know what joggers were. Yeah. I, I was like, Cody, is it cool if I show up to this and, ca and joggers? I didn't say khaki. And joggers and a polo and Crocs at the time. Um, but I went Goodwill hunting and found some shoes. Um, and he was like, actually, no. And I was like, well, <laughs> fuck. I'm like, I guess I won't come, so I'm not a distraction. And he's like, just go get some jeans. And I was like, jeans are better than khaki joggers? That's what I wear to fucking work. Uh, it was confusing, but we figured it out. I, yeah, I just don't know what Well, I, I stopped doing belts two years ago. These just oh. have the drawstring. Yeah. Fucking perfect. So when I'm driving, I'm driving in the place, Cody, and the way it works is that you have to make a U-turn to get to where yeah. we're going, right? So right. <clears throat> I'm pulling up, and I'm, we're, we're passing the restaurant, and I look over, and I see a large individual with a with a with a light blue polo shirt walking into the building. I'm like, oh shit, there's Randy. And I was pointing out to my wife and my kids, and nobody looked over in time. Um, I just I don't know. I thought that uh, was... Well, yeah, it, fucking, I died in there for nine minutes. Like God, nobody damn. knew who the fuck I was. Mike just showed up in the fucking back seat. Holy oh, hey, Mike. Shit. Oh man, he is stoned out of oh, his mind. Fucking guy. All right, Cody, I'm gonna hang up on you. Well, Randy's gonna hang up on you in a minute, and I'm gonna go in and take a piss and go to bed. And I hope you, you guys got a piss, man. So, Cody, actually, let me ask you real quick, my friend, and I love you. I want you to know that. I love you a lot. Um, Randy and I, this is about 30 minutes. It's going to be well, maybe maybe 35 minutes of, like, audio that we recorded in the car, both going to the bar and right. coming to my house. Should we play this in front of the next episode or in back of the next episode or as a standalone? Yeah. Um, standalone? <laughs> Oh shit! Oh. Like 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 a supplemental episode. I would either go standalone or inexplicably loaded at the top of an episode. Okay, but no fucking loop or like yeah. A, I mean, it might people. yeah, it might be fun just to like jar people's reality. Yeah, like, what the fuck's happening? Yeah, what the f yeah, this is different. And like after yeah, after we hang up, we hear the Rich Dickman show music from Randy. Rand yeah, 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 they're fucking breathing the same air. Yeah. You know, like how's that sound, Coach? Don't it, touch dude. my titties. So, it, I couldn't help it. I've been wanting to do it all fucking night. All right, I've been good all fucking night, and I just fucking I I have self control issues. All man. right, it's impulse control, yeah. man. I'm sorry, Cody. What were you saying? We keep interrupting you. Sorry, nothing. Oh, did you want that Adderall? <laughs> no, I don't. What the fuck am I gonna do with Adderall? I'm gonna go to bed. 
Taking out right. our own number, but no. I can go to a rave. No, okay, I'm good. All right. I have, an, I have a rave app. Cody, it's beautiful talking to you. We'll talk to you um, what, Thursday, I guess, bud. All right. Thursday sounds good. All right. I love you, buddy. I love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye, bye guys. You, you got to hit that. There you go. All right. I was going to let him do it. Oh. I don't like to hang up on people. Oh, that was fucked. I'm surprised he answered, to be honest. I'm not. He was answered. Does he? Yeah. I like I fucking wouldn't answer. We talk like all the time. Like I'm such an asshole. Like, like nobody know, like, should like, nobody should be my We friend. have at least a three hour conversation once a week. Really? Yeah. Wait, on the show or on the phone? Well, an hour and a half on the show, an hour and a half off. Really? He helps me do all the prep, yeah. Oh no shit. Yeah, he He's, didn't know that. He actually does shit for the show? Yeah, it wouldn't be half as good as it is without him. Really? No, I'm bullshit. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like, like, there's no way. Oh shit, I don't fuck. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's no way Cody fucking does anything for the show besides show up. <laughs> <laughs> he writes down the episode titles. Uh, barely. <laughs> barely. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. I love you, Cody. Uh, Cody's right. the best part of the show. Oh, fuck, I you, dropped it again. What the fuck I is wrong go, with you? I gotta go inside. You, you, your shit is... Knock right. it off, Mike, you yeah, fucking he, asshole. Keeps fucking, Mike is so combative, but like, a, he, he keeps dick. poking you. He, I know. He just... Stop it. Yeah, you like, poke foo. Stop it, dickhead. Yeah. Fucking, fucking Mike. Settle stuff. down. Wow. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, what a night, man. It was fun. It's good to see you, bud. I had fun. I wish my life was such that I could spend more time with you. Me too. Yeah. But maybe one day. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey. I, I will pray for your divorce. <laughs> It's not as bad as it seems. You know, we've been through it. Yeah. You had a nice you conversation. Have your shit. You had a nice conversation with my wife tonight. Did I? I don't know. Did you? You're the one talking to her. Oh, I don't remember shit about shit. Oh, okay. Like, I don't remember. Like, I just say shit, and then, like, I, I never mean, remember. I mean, she didn't fucking say, like, we need to get the fuck out of here right now. So I think you had an all right conversation with uh, her. I think her uh, dad liked me, too. Well, he, he said that it, was important. Yeah. You just got to push the He's a good Rogers. judge of character. Yeah, because now you'll get invited to, like, the beach house. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, like if you get on that level they'd be like hey is your friend Randy ever coming by and I'm like he can yeah wow, there's a beach house yeah that's where he lives he lives on a beach fucking really yeah <laughs> hell that's why he was fucking talking yeah. about no money. my man's made made he made good investments my man's was in business with auto care mm -hmm. right and then he sold that and he got into to real estate and he's doing really well so like, good for him. Yeah, it's like, good for you, man. Yeah, real estate's a good business. You know, like, it, because everyone always needs someone. To yeah, live. I mean, you think shit is coming to an end in the 60s, or some people is just beginning, bro. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I mean, commercial real estate, I yeah. get out of right now. This is going to be a long pre-show. All right, that's enough of this. All right. Randy, say the words. Let's bring this baby home. <laughs> and I'm at my home. I'm fucking in my driveway. So you brought me home. Actually, I brought myself home. Yeah, he wouldn't let me drive. Bro. No, no, I like because you don't know where you're going, and I don't want to give directions. So it's just easy for me to drive. I showed Shane the GPS. Yeah, I showed Randy where I work. Showed him my one of my childhood homes. Yep. And I showed him my current home. It's gonna make it a lot easier to kill you for that guy on the driveway. Yeah, but I hope, <laughs> I hope you fucking have GPS to get out of here, but because it's back roads. For I'll a figure bit. it out. I used yeah, to deliver just, pizzas. Just get on the highway and go north. All right, that's it. All right. Later. Bye. All right, making Jesus art on the fly is kind of hard. Fucking really? You're serious Jesus about that? Art. Like, you're doing Jesus art, like, right now? That's sacrilegious. My, Randy, the audience when did just you do heard Jesus art, bud? you and me and you and me and Cody conversing in a car, Cody over the phone. Okay. They just heard that. They opened up their, their podcast app. They hit the Rich Stickman show. They hit play and they heard you and I fucking having a good time driving. And I, I had to edit some of it out because I kind of gave away locations I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> and so yeah, you were a little tipsy and uh, yeah, no, no, not not tipsy in the least. But but <laughs> you know, people are excited to hear our stories. They want to know the follow up to all that. And you're mm. fucking doing fucking Jesus fucking art. Like you should have done that two weeks ago. You fucking told me I fucking had to. All right, Brick. Like. This is all you're making. Like, you fucking tell me to do something, and I fucking do it. How, it should have been done already. You didn't tell me to do it. <laughs> when, were, when were you going to do it? Now, obviously. Like, what's like it's our fault you were in the hospital, man. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Well, no, that was my wife's fault. Fucking over a fucking me bringing $400 to your parents' wedding anniversary party. Now, did did you already tell that story on the uh, show you did with Cody? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. All right. Did I, Cody? 
I don't remember. I just do stuff, Rim. You think I fucking remember anything? No, I'm just wondering. I don't want to recap something that hasn't been... Hasn't Always been recap it because there might be somebody here that didn't hear it. Okay, no, yeah. all right. You know what I mean? Like all You're right. always allowed what, to right. read. Like, I feel like you're always allowed your second, well, your first recap is free. Okay. You know right, what I mean? So you can tell that. the story, and then you can read. If it's your story, you can tell it. You can retell it once. But after once, you need an excuse to bring it back up again. You can't just be like, oh, let me tell you about this funny thing. Like, right. we have to be like, you have to, like, segue. Oh, Randy, Jesus look! This fucking Christ! This Randy, look! It looks like shit is wild. Randy, look! Oh, I drew. It's that. like you're talking on the microphone. Yeah, I drew that. Yeah, th- that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. yeah, you should sell Speaking that of, T-shirt. Like, Speaking of that holding, art style, just a picture of you holding up the fucking thing <laughs> next to a fucking microphone. Speaking of that art style, how do we feel about the new voice actors? I couldn't pretty, really tell the difference. Pretty I didn't good. hear enough. That, that's a that's a good match. what voice actor? That's a Rick and Morty's new voice acting. I, j- I was making a joke. Like I was trying. Did to they AI it. that shit? Like, how'd they do it? Uh, uh, Wait, there's uh, a new Rick I, and Morty. I, 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 yes, yeah. there's new. The new voice acting has been revealed, and Rem, it's as somebody that works with voice. Rick and Morty's voices were not spectacular. They were technically good when, like, Justin Roiland, like, you know, belched midline. Like, you know, actual, dr- you can hear the actual, like, you know, carbonated drink in Rick's lungs. Like, that yeah. was good. But, like, you know, like, the actual speaking voices for both characters are just good and cartoony. They're not, you, you know, they're not unique. So it's easy to do. Yes. Uh, like, gotcha. because, dude, you go, to, you go to a fucking party, you go to a fucking party, and there's, like, two people in there that can do a really good Rick and or Morty impression. Bro, I've never Every met party. anybody who could do a Rick or Morty. Anybody. Like, I've never met anybody. It's like, like oh, I would, geez, uh, I don't know, Rick. It, it's not <laughs> that hard. You know what I mean? Like, Randy oh, put geez, in, like... Oh, I don't know, Rick. Yeah, like, you can get really man. close yeah. putting 12%, like, effort <laughs> in. You know what I mean? So, like, when Adult Swim just puts a wide casting call out, of course, yeah. you're going to get really close with those. Do we know who the new voice is? is yeah, no. I mean, I didn't look it up because, like, they have, you know. It's the same chick who did Tommy and Rugrats, I think. Man, motherfucker. Is this a goddamn chick? Are you fucking kidding yeah. me? It's probably not. It's, 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 no, it's, she did the voice of Tommy and Rugrats. Look it up. I mean, that's what ruined that show. Hiring a bunch of chicks in the writing's room, man. Fuck. The voice actors aren't in the writing room. It was my sister's birthday yesterday. Oh, happy birthday, Cody's happy sister. Happy birthday, Cody's sister. What's her name? Codette? Cassidy. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're actually close. Yes, my parents did female name my sister after me. But, <laughs> but I, was, still- I was male named after a daughter they never got. Oh. It's not that they miscarried. It's just they didn't see my wiener on the ultrasound. And oh, Jesus. Was, my name was Katie for the first four days of my life. Oh. <laughs> I remember this. Yeah, yeah I, I bet you somewhere. I don't know if they're still living, but some, or you know what I mean, like the, still like in good shape. But there's probably some Polaroids out there, but baby Cody and like pink girly, like you know, age zero, like yeah. clothes. Damn, I don't know, Randy. Maybe you should get some good internet. No. I am the internet, motherfucker. <laughs> I control the business. Wait, so I what is today? Today's Thursday, the twenty. Or sorry, of September. what episode? Yeah, Dumbledore died two, today again. Two seventy eight. Two seventy eight is fucking today. I wonder how many Horcruxes yeah. Dumbledore has. Two seventy eight. That's All right, good. You only get a Horcrux. Horcruxes only work if you kill somebody. I realized. Yeah. I was watching the series with the Mara again. Randy, want to get some music? Two seventy eight. That was perfect. 278. It's 278? It's 278. The, the Renaissance. Fuck, I gotta relabel all the Jesus shit. God damn. See, this is what I'm talking. Just do it. Just do it the day after the show. It's been Make, two weeks. Did Jesus God start the day after the show? Hey, everybody. Welcome to episode 278 of the Rich Dickman Show, the podcast that is slightly better than mediocre. I am your host, Ram, once again, back at you after this hiatus I took. Oh I needed my it. God. I needed it. I'm sorry, but you guys did great. I missed you. 
You guys did wonderful. Uh, we, had, we had a Stony special last week with my boys. Randy and Cody filling in. Oh, my God. You just heard Randy and I on a, in a car. Cody called. We're going to talk about that in the morning. <gasps> Randy, Cody. Yeah. Randy Sergi, what's up, buddy? Oh, oh I am officially running to be number one fascist in Italy. Um, All right. Yep. Uh, I've got the whole vote of your family now. Uh, so, like, I feel like I can, you know, just take down a couple <laughs> more houses and I'll be yeah. pope. All right. Okay. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes. Cody, fascist, my friend, it's been, pope. Hello. it's been some Hi. time since I've seen you. How are you? Good. That's a good episode title, Fascist Pope. <laughs> fascist Pope. There, oh my God. there must have been at least one or two fascist popies. Write it down. Uh, okay. Uh, so, a good clothing brand, too. Cody, what's going on, man? How's, how's life? How's Hawaii? How are you, pal? Good. Chilling. Yeah. September is crazy because we have... Yeah. We have my my sister's birthday. Oh shit! I'm yeah. knocking everything off my desk. My sister's birthday. Happy my mom's birthday, birthday. Kodak. Happy birthday, Kodak. Yep. Or uh, my mom's Orange birthday. Cassidy. And then and then Mara's birthday is two days after my mom's birthday. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a lot. Of birthday. Yeah, can you so remind us so we can say happy birthday to Amara? If I remember, yes. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Aren't you going? Aren't you taking a trip soon? Yeah, that's the purpose of the trip, but I gotta. But you ruin your pronouns. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss something? Uh, no. Uh, no. Once we get these video. videos posed again, you'll see. Uh, Cody, yeah. Cody oh, and Randy, okay. I have an announcement to make real quick. I have an announcement. Uh, I can't see that. that. Is that uh, in October? All right, gotcha. hold on. October nineteenth to the twenty third. I Rem Dickman will be in Colorado. I'm going to Colorado. Nice. The trip is booked. Airbnb is booked. Nice. I will be there nice. in the mountains in Indian Hills outside of Denver. Don't don't take any pills off the floor. That eighteen month old in Florida died. From oh yeah, no no pills are straight over the counter. I don't do off the floor pills. I'm not. I'm not okay. a fucking psychopath. I mean, yeah. I do, depending on how the mood is, but you know, not anymore. Nice. Right. Yeah. I'm going to reach out. I'm going to see if Huel is back from the Middle East at all. I mean, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, maybe we can have a visit. I, I don't it. know. He's, He's probably dead. dead. Probably dead. Committed to the cause. Yeah. All right. Cody, we had a, we had a, we had a big weekend. We had a big weekend. All right. I and heard. You know, yeah. Yeah. Is that noticeable in the fact that we're halfway through the podcast? No, not even. <laughs> probably a quarter of the way through the podcast right now. But, yeah, actually, no, I think you're right. We're probably right around halfway. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, isn't it weird? You played the opening at, like, what, minute 20-something? Something, yeah. That's know. Randy, because we were waiting on him to get his Jesus shit in order. Um, but, okay, so if you don't know, Randy came out to Connecticut over the weekend. Randy Randy flew out here. He flew Actually, no, he flew to Newark. And, then <laughs> and survived. To, yeah, survived, and tried to rent a car and drove to Connecticut and and he, he yeah so this whole trip was such a clusterfuck yeah. like nothing fucking went right goddamn the, the, man the as soon as here, randy Ra- as soon as like randy was just like i'm flying in through newark i'm like ah uh, i don't know if i want to do this anymore yeah no and they did it they, when they came when you when they came out last year they flew into newark and drove up and i said i said randy that's a, that's a stupid that's a stop, stupid idea stop going to and newark. randy's like it's 200 dollars cheaper man how else am i gonna fucking fly and i'm like all right i mean then you got to spend money on a car and gas. You get there, yeah. There's so a reason it was two hundred dollars cheaper. <laughs> so, so uh, well, the, Randy's story is fascinating, and and I think R- Randy went into an episode like in the last thirty six hours of his trip, and we could talk about that too. But <laughs> Randy, let's talk about your trip to Connecticut. <laughs> Start from oh, the beginning, boy. and we could talk about well, it hanging out too. Yeah, so it started with me waking up way too fucking early because I listened to my goddamn wife. Uh, fucking, she told me I had to get up at three in the morning to make it to the airport on time. Fucker, I got to the airport and had three hours to kill. I was like, what the fuck? You know, like, anyway. <laughs> uh, so. Did something miraculous happen? Did you, like, catch an early train or something? No, I drove like a man. So there. nominal traffic and nominal, like, just a regular well, old journey. in the morning, Cody. Everyone's fucking dead. What time was your flight? Oh, it was 7 or 8.15 is whenever I okay. boarded. It was 8.15, yeah. all right. I got there at fucking 5.15. I was so pissed. 
I got through TSA. Well, she was like, TSA is always backed up at that airport. Got through in 13 minutes. I was like, what? If it makes you feel better, Randy, my flight uh, to Colorado is out of Boston, and it takes off at 8, 8 a.m., and it's a two-hour trip to Boston. Uh, Boston yeah. is a lovely city to be in at the ass crack of dawn. Yeah. Maybe I'll stay, maybe I'll get a hotel up there and just stay get, the night in Boston. You know what? Bagels. Yeah, get just bagels. take a train No, to get Boston. donuts. Stay in Boston's hotel, famous you don't for have donuts. For parking. Sorry, go ahead. Or get a cronut. 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 Never had a cronut. Cronut. Get a cronut. All right. So, so Randy gets into the airport, all right? And Randy's got got his car all lined up, right? A sweet-ass SUV or a Tesla or some shit. It was Tesla, but yeah. It was te- yeah, so Randy had a Tesla all lined up, ready to rent and drive to Connecticut. Go ahead, Randy. Yeah, so fucking Hertz says if you use a debit card, there's a $500 deposit. Okay, now, mind you, I took money out of the 401k to cover the trip, but the fucking check didn't clear until the moment I got on the fucking airplane to come home. I was so fucking pissed. Like, ding deposits in and i was like son of a bitch and everyone on the plane looked at me it was, anyway, <laughs> but uh besides that point um so i go to hertz fucking get there so what i did is i have a credit card with a 300 hundred dollar limit i was like fuck okay it's two 213 dollars for the rental so i'll just pay that fucker off put the rental on there no deposit get there lady wants the card and needs to put a 500 hundred dollar deposit on i'm like fucking god damn it like it has a three hundred dollar limit, and she did not get this. Said, yeah. Couldn't fucking comprehend that somebody has only a three hundred dollar limit on a credit card. Like she Loki <laughs> was being super disrespectful <laughs> to me about my low credit card limit, and I wanted to just look at her and be like, "You work at the fucking airport. Fuck you." You know, like anyway. Sorry. Um, so then I'm over there trying to solve my crisis. Wow. Uh, I go to Toro, and I find a rental. Like, but it's a Sentra, so from a Tesla Jer- to a Sentra, Jersey rental. Yeah. Yeah, so then uh, yeah, I call a fucking Lyft, and it's sixty dollars to go five miles. I'm like, motherfucker! So, so remember, yeah, he yeah, saved time, yeah. he saved a bunch of money like, flying into Newark. Two hundred dollars. So no, four hundred dollars. <laughs> it was five hundred thirty three dollars to fly into fucking wherever the fuck you. Five hundred thirty three dollars. So and I had to do a spend? layover in fucking Miami for some reason. I did. I wasn't gonna fly all the way um, to fucking Florida just to fly to Connecticut. That's stupid. Anyways, so. I get up, Lyft gets there really fucking quick. Like, I get up and just run out to get in this car, and, like, we get to the edge, and I'm like, oh, fuck. I left my CPAP, my wallet, and my sunglasses just sitting on the bench. So uh, I'm like, hey, homie, if you could totally back up somehow through all this traffic. They don't do that. And get me there in time. Like, I'll tip you $25. So now, at this point, the Lyft is fucking $85 or whatever the fuck. But he does it. He fucking in a Lincoln Navigator just fucking back up cameras through that shit. I get in there, fucking still there. Praise Jesus. Some lady looked at me and said, man, you got lucky, huh? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> so wait, what uh, was it? I, I understand nobody wanting your CPAP machine. <laughs> but <laughs> what else did you... like $3,500, dude. Yeah, but no one wants to fence Fucking pawn that. shop it, trade it for like six fentanyl pills. <laughs> like, my insurance you, company, valuable, GPS yes. tracks it down, sends the cops. Uh, it, it connects to cellular. Uh, because they nobody monitor how much you, I use it. Anyways. Nobody wanted your wallet because they want shit in it, right? You well, it on well no, I, I use one of those little, it looked like just a little metal, is like, and it flips up the card, so it doesn't look uh, like a real wallet. Yeah. And I didn't have any cash on it because I didn't get to bring the wad because the check didn't clear. Anyways, um, so there was that whole fiasco. Finally get to this fucking, like, it's like a garage, and then there's like a like a little fucking shed. That says like car rental <laughs> and there's nobody there. But like, so I have to call this dude, this Polish guy. He took, he volunteered. He was Polish. I'm not just saying that. Um, anyway, uh, he gives me all these fucking rules and I had to like take a selfie with my driver's license in front of the car, like doing this, you know, like that guy in front yeah, of the yeah. grave. <laughs> he, he was very specific about that pose. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyways, I guess cause AI is good these days. So, um, but I finally get the center and start heading that way, you know, uh, try and get a fucking cord for my phone because it's dying. And the only fucking cord it'll take is USB-C to lightning. It won't take fucking USB-A, which is the only fucking cord I brought because, you know, we got to have so many different fucking cords now. OK, I'm a little hyped up. Sorry. Uh, it was a new iPhone. Trip. Just switch that up. Yeah, that's why I didn't get it. I got a 14 instead of a 15. I just got new phones, too, Cody. That's because you're a fucking cuck, okay? You, you, you should have got the ass. fucking titanium fucking one. Oh, fuck. uh, Looks so a little that it broke easier. Yeah. They're literally uh, the same thing. 
There's no, they're literally not. One has fucking seven different camera lenses in it. The other one doesn't. Um, yeah, and they make no difference in taking a picture. It's the same fucking thing. Okay, all right, keep going. All right, so as you're driving up to Connecticut and you're texting while you're driving, I'm sure. Oh yeah, mad text and yeah. smoking allegedly in Minecraft. Um, in Minecraft, because I had to calm down. You know, I was a little fired up. Oh, uh, smuggled weed on a plane for the first time. That was cool. Allegedly, don't in Minecraft. say that. Uh, what? Uh, no, I, it's what? Cool. I hit it in a cough bag, cough drop bag, so like the scanners don't pick it up. <laughs> uh, it was it was easier than buying a speaker. She nodded. <laughs> oh fuck! Anyway, so uh, I fucking get up to Connecticut and I realize I'm pretty hungry, so I ask the concierge at the Super Eight there in Cromwell where to go. And uh, she says the Cromwell Diner, which turned out to be pleasant. I got way too much food. Like, fucking, they use cheddar biscuits for their biscuit and gravy. Like, I was here for it. I thought you were going to say they use cheddar biscuits for their currency. <laughs> or I mean, a couple months. I, yeah, I'd fucking kill in a cheddar biscuit economy. Like, Thanks just the John Wick Biden. style economy with cheddar biscuits. <laughs> 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 you do me a favor, I give you a cheddar biscuit. I do you a favor, you give me a cheddar biscuit. It all works out. Hmm. favors so randy was um, bored friday night and he's like are we hanging out and i'm like no like i never planned it i never actually thought you were going to come so no we're not hanging out tonight so randy took himself where'd you go <laughs> i went to the elbow room a 13 dollar comedy show that's going to be a recurring theme you texted <laughs> me from there, there didn't you show. huh you texted me from there didn't you maybe i i don't know i I just do stuff. Uh, there were six mm. comedians. Three of them made me feel like I could do it. Uh, and then my favorite guy was this 23-year-old from Michigan State. He just graduated, and he fucking bombed for 15 straight minutes. And then I think his Adderall kicked in, and he just murdered the room. Oh, uh, totally <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fun. What was the one where you spoke up? Oh, that was the host at the very beginning because he was, like, mumbling and kind of urban. Uh, and I didn't understand what he was saying, and I thought he asked, "Hey, where are you all from?" And I was like, "Ohio," because I thought, you know, he's doing crowd work. A fucking fat guy from Ohio's easy money. Uh, and he just looked at me and said, "Ain't nobody say anything about that." And he called me an N word. Um, so you know, that was huh. cool. oh, he called you an N word. I had no idea. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, I think I told you that. Yeah, I think if you, you told me that, then I forgot. On insurance. Uh. Yeah, uh-huh. it was awkward. So, like, I shut the fuck up for the rest of the show. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah. So, Randy, you just, you just said a state name very excitedly. Yeah. You, get, you know what I mean? From, the like, out. the correct perspective of the room, there's just some guy that's just like, Ohio! Like, kind of, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> he probably viewed that as, like, a, like a short-circuited him. heckle. Well, I you know didn't I mean? stand up and start listing how many presidents are from Ohio and how Connecticut just has George Walker, Her- Herbert Bush, whatever the fuck his name is. We have Yale, okay? All these presidents went to Yale. Oh, yeah, they all they do is learn to circle jerk. Yeah, who fucking cares? I fucking cookie. hate these presidents. Yeah, fuck everybody. Yeah. Exactly. Skull and bones, skull and bones. All right, so, Randy, a little thing you don't know is that when you were out at the comedy club, I told my wife, I'm like, hey, hey, babe, you wanna, do you want to go watch a comedy show with Randy? I'll stay home with the kids. And she's like, no. And she's laughing at me. And she's like, are you going with him? <laughs> and I said, no, I'm not. I'm not going with him. So I think she expected me to hang out with you Friday night. Wow. That's a great that life hack. You just learned. To get that expected that. Pause. That's a, great, that's a great trick Rem just learned on his wife. If, if Rem like never wants to do something... She, all he has to do is just ask his, or like, if he does want to do something, all he has to do is ask his wife if she wants to do it first. Yeah. And then when she declines, wrong. you're just like, well, I guess I'll take one for the team. Cool. I guess you I'll know what I mean? If it's just like, oh, do you want yeah. to go to monster trucks and titty bars with Randy? <laughs> you know, Rem wife. And, and she'll be like, oh, God, no. Are you going to do that? And you'll be like, I guess I have to if you don't. That's it. I'm going to try that again uh, this weekend, Cody. There you little, go. little one's birthday. I'm gonna be like, do you, do you want to go like go do other things while the family's here? Or just be like, no, I gotta be once you. Go. All right. So all right. So so Saturday is the day of the of the 50th anniversary party. Oh my god. Yeah. And I was, <laughs> yeah, was I was supposed to be day. there at like 5:30. My mom's like, yo, can you just can you guys be here at 5:30 so you can set up the cupcakes that that your daughter made and you know 
You told me fear. No, you told me six. Yeah. Yeah. But the party started at six, but they wanted me there at five 30. Well, um, my family can't be on time anywhere, which drives me crazy. Cause I'm an on time type of guy. Mm-hmm. I understand. That. Anyways, we showed up at six as I'm driving down the Berlin turnpike where the place, the restaurant we were going to, I look over it and cause you have to, you're going down like northbound, but the restaurant's on southbound. So you have to do a U-turn at a stoplight. Um, or I have the back. What well, doesn't matter. I'm driving. I'm across the street driving basically. And I see, and I look over and I see, I see a large man in a blue shirt walking in the parking lot. And, and I said to him, I said, Oh my God, it's Randy. I can see Randy from here. Hmm. So that yeah, he's spot. Else it's, it's not yeah. that hard to find where it's Waldo whenever it's fucking no. Randy yeah. no. in a blue shirt. So Randy shows up. He, he Randy got a sweet gift from my parents, a, b- a beautiful piece of AI artwork. Fuck you. With, Fuck you, prick. What? For not telling me is the kind of fucking event where you just bring an envelope full of money. All yeah, right. Near my fucking Ohio country bumpkin ass comes in with a goddamn Dollar Tree I, bag but, filled I, with a craft. I got uh, them a gift. All dude, right. That's totally you allowed, Randy. What do you yeah. want? What is wrong with you? You did just fine. There were two gift bags in the entire room. You well, are cause, cause one of the two inspired people that wanted to go above and beyond the envelope. Yeah. You made you made quite an impression on my family. You're yeah, allowed to do that, buddy. Yeah. Oh, you want right, to you hear the poem? No, no I can find it. No, it's really no, good. Ram, this isn't, keep going. This isn't poems. Yeah. Ram, so, going. Randy, I need to know because I I wasn't there for this when you walked in to that lounge. All right. What what was your reaction what was the reaction of people who looked at you did my mother instantly recognize you and come up and say hi like what happened because i wasn't there for that did he stand well, first out first of all i just want to read you a yes. little back and forth oh. between me and Kristen before i went in okay uh, uh so i was like fuck i don't know how to answer the question how do you know rim i said long story but basically i played the same time a game the same time he did oh my like, we never played together but we were in the same guild Fuck, we don't have an origin story. God damn, this was a terrible idea. And then <laughs> hits vape. I put hits vape in the little asterisks. <laughs> and I said, oh, well, yeah, because I just do stuff. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so, yeah, so I walked in and, uh, you know, told them I'm here for the Dickman uh, event. Mm. And uh, they looked at me and uh, mm. they are like, you don't look like you quite fit over there, but Okay. <laughs> So like I, I'm like mm. that was a weird comment. Uh, so like I walk in and I'm like, oh yeah, these are all short people. Um, okay, <laughs> like I, I understand ah, I'm gonna be gotcha. like I'm like Godzilla entering this room. Like they got a little tense at first. They, you know, they, there were some people, you know, just keeping a hand inside of their jacket pocket. Uh, I was a little nervous. <laughs> Keep it but, warm. Uh, so nobody recognized me at fucking all. Ram, what so, part? Like, I just started. I just wandered over and started chatting up the wait. What part of Italy are the do. folks from? Sicily. That's the yeah. shortest part of Italy. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's little Italy's little Italy, isn't it? That's the Japan of fucking Italy. <laughs> yes, it is. Wow. It's, it's and the I shortest just towering over all these. Yeah, you're you're a large, yeah. large individual. <laughs> so large. Yeah. No, so and, uh, Cody, what it's funny you say that because when when you guys came out last You're not year, short, Rem, which is yeah, um, when you guys came out last year, and I was waiting in the parking lot for you guys to come, and I saw Randy and Kristen drive in, and I walked over to Randy's car, and Randy got out. I felt like Randy was shorter than me, right? And Randy didn't look all 420 pounds at the time, right? Randy didn't – I'm trying to say Randy did what didn't seem as large as he did on Saturday night. All right, Dude, I Saturday told you on my night, first appearance, I carry it well. And then yeah. Jules like, what does that mean? <laughs> like, fuck him for even saying that. <laughs> it means the, <laughs> the spanks break after first use, Jules. Yeah, but you know, I, and I, I realized when, when we were all together last year, I didn't have anything to compare him to, right? Like people in my family. So you put him, large individual Randy Dickman, with my family. There's quite... There's quite a difference. Yeah, it takes like it would take like eight of them motherfuckers to take me. Like, and one of them is an MMA fighter. So like that's you know that's a fucking that's a feat. You know, uh, I can see like Rem's family like <clears throat> you know investing in a trench coat and like getting on each other's shoulders to save money at the movie <laughs> theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My dad's very he, he was very cheap. Now he spends money like crazy because he wants to impress people. But uh, isn't that yeah. wild when that switch happens in your in your dad? Like all well, your childhood, your dad's like, "Yo, get the buy the put the cheap peanut butter in the cart," and you're like, "I hate the cheap peanut butter." And then like some like thirty some odd years pass, 
and he's like, you know, tipping the wine guy at restaurants like eighty bucks or whatever. <laughs> I was just like, fuck that. What? Why? Like be flashy Dad. and show off. Yeah. But he was always cheap about it. And, you know, he hit it well, but now it's just whatever. All right. So, like, so I get in there and of course I immediately see Randy because he's standing over and, um, <laughs> I don't actually, I don't actually remember how, because here's what happened. Cause Cody, I got in there and we were late. Like we, I got there like at 603. Yeah. Fucking and I know. And dying. I'm trying to say hello to people I haven't seen in a while. I'm going around the room saying hello to everybody. And I was like, the 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 party the event runner the guy running the events the different at, at, the, at the facility he's like listen we got about fifteen minutes to calamari so you might want to get this show on the road here like he, he's like you're the son Did right he say you, it in that accent? Run, I'm like yeah well he has, it sounded yeah. like he, it was, was a little bit more of an Italian accent than what yeah, he yeah. Just threw like, out. hey we, like, we got, got a calamari got fifteen around. minutes from the yeah. calamari <laughs> so so they're looking at me like I'm I'm in charge like the MC of the events or some shit like I'm like why are you telling me dude you my father the microphone right there. for the longest f- amount of time yeah go fucking just tell like, him um that's true um but I had to give I had to give a speech right my parents had asked me to to say something for their fiftieth anniversary and, and of course I you know I, I wrote it in uh, a couple nights before, um, but like I'm doing I'm kind of like I'm I'm like in this mode right I have all these people around me Randy's there and my kids around there's a lot of anxiety built up in my head and I say to my dad I'm like yo I need it I need a drink before we do anything I need a drink he's like hey what do you want and I said there went to go. the bar and I'm like give me give me um give me a a makers on the rocks. So the bitch pours me a double. <laughs> and so you're then at I the right my, event. Yeah. Just, then right my dad is like, Hey, they want, they want to get going. Like, what do you want to do here? Like, oh, take your time. Don't worry about it. So I'm, I'm sloshing back this fucking makers. Right. And I'm like, it's I'm not a sloshing away through drink. It. Rem. No, it's, it's not. But I, my nerves were on edge, you know, that doesn't, so okay. I'm standing next to my cousin and I've got a water in my left hand and my whiskey in the right hand. And I look at him. I'm like, I'm drunk. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and my cousin's like, yeah, all right. What was the last um, drink you had? What was, was the last the hard drink the you had before the see. mark? Say that again, Coach. What was the last uh, hard drink you had before this one? If you don't mind me. Oh, asking. it's been a while. I don't, yeah, your tolerance I don't drink very through much. the roof or yeah. through the uh, cellar. Yeah. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. I don't drink very much anymore. Me either. Um, but uh, and it was which one's the Little Mermaid? Uh, Buffalo Bills I, fan. Yeah. Okay, so here are my three cousins that are, are of note, Cody. A shout out to my three cousins who might be listening. Number one, the Italian Stallion. Number yeah, two, yeah. Buffalo Bills fan. And number three, oh, yeah. uh, Carpenter from Maine. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about that one. I forgot about that one. <laughs> well, why did you... I, I, I don't... I, I, you know, we don't have closed captioning on, but when you said Carpenter, there were definitely quotation marks around it. I could hear it in your voice. Although, I no, like, I was just... Carpenter. I wanted... No, you right. know what it is? I've been thinking of Cody, nicknames. Leave him alone. Yeah. Oh, I, all right. He, he's not really a real carpenter. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. He didn't want to strike in 83, so he left. Yeah, yeah. No. He's a um, so, carpenter. He's an Italian carpenter. So Finest I go up, work. I have to give him a speech. All right. And at this point, I, 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 I took the DJ. The DJ is an Italian guy, right? An older Italian guy. He's still playing music for everybody. And I said, Hey, what do you got? You got a wireless mic here? He's like, well, you know, I didn't bring no wireless. I didn't know I needed a wireless. I got a wired mic here. I'm like, Oh shit. Because I really like to move around when I talk, but that's all right. I'll figure it out. <laughs> so my dude and his assistant, they break out a bunch of XLR cables, right? Uh, or SLR. I forget which one it is. Which one's the camera? XLR. Which one's my- XLR. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. and they start trying to, you know, extend the microphone so I can go walk to the middle of the room and everything. And it doesn't work. But, but the meantime, why doesn't it work? Is, is it I literally because DJs only have four foot XLRs? <laughs> no, he had a long one, but it, whatever it was, the connection wasn't oh. working. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention because I was getting a XLRs are fucking, very fucking temperamental. Yeah. The, the, the event coordinator guy, he's like, Hey, we got three minutes to calamari. Let's get a move on. What does know? that mean? Like, like <laughs> who's calamari? Is that the stripper? Like what? <laughs> like why can't that like shit wait? I, I think I was he was running five fucking events at the time. Yeah. Cody, he had three weddings and this fucking I, thing. And I'm like, and just like bring, a group of red hat society out. that I strip for afterwards. Yeah, and I'm like, bring the calamari out. Like I can talk while people are. Here. I don't give a shit. So anyway, so it's my so I uh, I put my drinks down. I like to I like to have a sip of water while I'm talking, and so th- this made things very difficult because I had no table to put things on, so I had to hand things off, and and I also forgot my paper speech that I wrote everything down on, so I had to read it off my phone. Oh fucking Christ! Yeah, no teleprompter. Yeah, yeah that shit was embarrassing. It's not very organized. If somebody would have told me, I would have said you have a teleprompter. 
Well, yeah, uh, it's like, hey, it, it's yeah. it's wild how, like, when I was sorry, like quick diatribe. When I was in school, it was very unprofessional, unprofessional, unprofessional to oh, hand yeah. in like loose leaf that had the jagged edge on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like it's the same thing. It was like, hey, Cody, just go the extra mile and tear the edge off so it's more presentable. But somehow, in 2023, soon to be 2024, <laughs> it would almost be more professional if you had the jagged edge loose leaf yeah. than your phone. Yeah. Because 100%. if you had the jagged edge loose leaf, it's like, oh, man. Oh, man. He took time to, like, write this down. But yeah. if, like, I see somebody, like, reading a speech off of, like, a phone, it's just like, well, he did both halves of these speech at different times while taking a shit. That's what I think when I see a phone. Effective toilet doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and you're not wrong. Oh, I wanted to put everything onto onto little index cards and hold them in the palm of my hand. That would have been. I, I'm like so I'm so ultimate busy. Classy. I had no time for that. So, so I'm reading off and, my phone. And no, and no and, friend who was doing nothing all day that you could have been like, hey, you got something. He's not going to take a fucking Mother- chat GPT speech, motherfucker. You couldn't even get the AI fucking art done in time for this episode. You had two weeks. I'm going to ask you. To I got it done, don't I, bitch? Edge. All right. So I so part of my speech was about Randy. I actually brought up Randy in my my speech. Oh yeah, he did. I cried. And I said, "There's this asshole here who came all the way from Ohio just to just to celebrate my parents' anniversary." You know, that's how much my parents mean to some people. So, all right, Randy, go ahead from speech and, and meeting all my family. Well, I ate shit before you got there. With the there was a lady who had her arm in a sling. I'm like, "Oh no, what'd you do? I tore a rotator cuff once." She's like, "I don't have an elbow. It's rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, there's no cure." I was like, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> Randy, yeah, Randy, that's a bad, like, that's not how you start conversations. It's just like, oh, how, well, like, recall hey, one of the most like painful experience of your wife. Jesus Christ. Okay. So what are you, so she, oh. if she doesn't have a watch, you're, you can't compliment. You're going to be like. I, I should have just walked up and said, hey, your hair's awfully gray. What's up? No. What doing after none of these so, are acceptable. Can't. Cody, the table that Randy was at, the table that number Randy one, was at included. Two. Included my in-laws, um, my Looking my aunt, move, cousin, guys. and my cousin's girlfriend, all from Maine, and um, two very close family friends who've known me since I was like nine. Well, one the, the man knew me since I was nine. The woman came in when I was probably like 18 or 19 because he got divorced, remarried, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so he was actually with people who know me, who know me well. <laughs> but I see Randy. I'm looking over. And Randy's like talking. To me. Randy's having full on conversation with everybody, and people are interested in what he has to say. Randy is a is an interesting motherfucker to a bunch yes, of Connecticut absolutely. people who've never seen somebody from Ohio before, and they were people were absolutely enthralled with his presence. Like my Italian stallion loved Randy. All right, Carpenter from Maine came over. And was, I love this fucking guy. This guy's great. Uh, Buffalo Bills fan got to, was telling Randy like I love your Jesus work, man. I love all your AI art. So Randy, love, Randy got quite. My favorite people, part was when I people, arm wrestled your dad, but I put him over for everyone. <laughs> people that are like listening to the audio version of this show won't be able to see it, but Rem on his video feed was like putting his arm out, like as if to like you know put his you know arm around his shoulder, but no. It would have to be like this if it, if the heights were correct. He, he's reaching straight yeah. up. Yeah, like I to feel like the strength of the short guy. Yeah, I feel like it's a phoenix right. Like objection, they were not putting. Objection. They were not putting. You know, these Sicilians were not Did putting their DS arms around. Oh, no, I didn't. No, Harvey Birdman. Like you had to yell objection at your Nintendo DS. That yeah, that was Phoenix right. That, yeah. That's what I would. Oh, was it? Just, okay, my yes. bad. Yeah, Randy. So, how was yeah. the food? How was the party? How was, how was the calamari? Please, yeah, how was the calamari? Please tell. I'm I'm on the edge of my fucking edge seat right now. Well, I had went and gotten breakfast that morning, and it it didn't go well. My stomach was fucked. I was, you know, like I had to get take a modium beforehand, and so it what was did you locked up? What did my you? I wasn't feeling good. What so like I tried to, everything. You knew a feast was coming. Right. Yeah, you knew a feast was coming. So I, what was so important yeah. that preempted this feast? What did you get? Home fries from some guy's restaurant. What you, no, <laughs> no, Randy, you were <laughs> going was, to a banquet. Some guy's restaurant. I, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you were going to a banquet. So you didn't eat nothing. You just tasted things. Yeah, every I took a bite of it. and and the lady next to me was not like she was kind of like, like 
Yep. Like, what the fuck? Like, like, it was like, it was like she expected me to eat so much, and I ate so little. <laughs> I tried wine for the first time, though. That was that was cool. What and do you espresso. mean for the first time? Stop. What do you mean for the first time? You've never had. Yeah, any I just type always of... assumed I would not like wine, but there's really sweet wine. It turns out. Oh my god. What did you think of my parents? This is this is fantastical. Keep going. They're yeah. amazing. Like, okay. like fucking your dad's is just walking around. Like, I had to ask your wife. I was like, is there like a trick to understanding Rim's dad? Like, because like I'm fucking striking out, and she's like, no, nah, dude. Like, I've so it's been like however many years. I can't fucking understand a goddamn word he says. I'm like, oh, okay, good. So like, I was just nodding with him and trying not to say anything that would offend him. Like, oh yeah, you know, like you know, like trying not to match his Italianness. You know? Yeah. Well, it was Anyways, wrong, but then your mom and I had your long, dad have a thick ass talks. accent that isn't understandable. No, he's perfectly understandable, but you got to get used to it first. How well, your wife what it, what aspect <laughs> requires understanding? Um, is there an accent? Does he just talk fast? Does he? There's a lot of fingers going, and that yeah, distracts the, me. There's a lot like of hand he's movements. He's like, a, da, 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 you know, da, yeah. da, 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 you know, and it's a lot of like it's a quick speed, like it, yeah, it's like, so, it's like a Uzi going. And on. he's okay. older now, like he's 75 in when, November. When, when this family it, come off the boat, some mumbling and a asking. lot of fast talking. What's that, coach? When this family come off the uh, when when's your dad's family come off the boat? If you don't mind me <laughs> asking, um, because well, he seems like dad got, yeah, he seems like he's but, a little fresh. My dad got here in 71. So it was your dad that was off the boat. What was to say in English, Rim? Hey, baby, give me a kiss. <laughs> That's what he said to him. Yeah. Mom. Like, my dad met my mom like a week after he got to the country. He didn't speak a lick of English. They Filthy were at a bar. Illegal immigrants. Yeah. And then a week later, they ran into each other again, like in, on, in, on a main street as everyone was wandering looking for mates. And it was my, my <laughs> uncle who translated for them. Like, my parents like... formed a relationship not <sighs> speaking the same language. Yeah. <laughs> I want Dave and Attenborough to like. Narrate oh, your parents' no. watch, like meeting. Watch the young male. Watch the Sicilian. Female. Yeah. <laughs> watch the Sicilian. Watch as he expands his jowls to show that he can protect his mate. Yeah. Notice the Randy, skyward hip thrusts. We did shots. We did a few shots together with my family. Randy. Of what? Of what? Uh, what do Italians do? Tequila. Shots yeah. Te- my dad tequila, tequila, and I still owe everybody. the Italian stallion's mother a uh, strip dance because I forgot my tall boy can. Yeah, no, you don't. Um, it's fine. No, nope. she's. She no, he told me I had to. Like, huh? I think he could take me if he really wanted to. Oh, Italian! Oh, yeah. I mean, he gets angry. He's like the Incredible Hulk, dude. Is he? Yeah, shit's crazy. So, all right. So, so night comes to an end, and you know, we're out, I'm out there dancing with my kids, and you know, we're dancing with. I people. tried to dance, but my pants were falling down real bad. Yeah, Randy's pants were falling. Because I wore joggers. Randy was a big hit, um, and then so. My wife, my wife had said to me before, well, it's like, do you want to take two cars so you can go out with Randy after? Or, and then Randy, I, I texted Randy, said, hey, we can hang out after if, if you want. And he's like, well, I'll just drive you. So I said, Randy, there's no way in hell I'm letting you drive me. So give me your keys. So I drove Randy's rental car. Completely against the tour of fucking terms and conditions. <laughs> 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 you didn't mention that part. Oh, I but don't fuck. It, it was a little rainy. And so I, I took Randy to a bar that Fit and I used to go to. And a place where my, my band played one public show. Nice. Uh, at, uh, yeah, and you tried to start a fight with some guy? Yeah, because, you know, these, 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 these chicks came in that come hang out. Awfully brave when I'm around there, bud. Yeah. You know, and chicks just want to be left alone or at the bar. And his asshole just, like, walks up to him and is, like, being annoying and shit. It's some of the best bars out there when everyone is just like, don't. To, this is not a this is not a social bar. This is a sit at the bar and quietly drink your drink yeah, while so, you know what I mean while you're being I, served and listen to music. I, I like that. That's an yeah, old man no boomer move, but it's just like dude, that's that's the nicest to me. Right. When like the biggest party is just a couple, you know what I mean? Like two is like the large party in the I don't know. I'm mm-hmm. being so Randy and I, we had a nice little hangout at the bar. We, mm-hmm. we chatted. We had a drink. I bought Randy a drink. And uh, then I hopped back in his car behind the driver's seat, and I took him on a tour at Crackerberry Junction. I took him. I showed him the neighbor my, where I worked. What time is this tour? Where you were born? This is like midnight. This is like I like midnight. this. Like we went in the room yeah. where he Here, was born. Se- yeah, do, like, you do the setting, like weather, time. Oh, it was rainy. It, it was yeah, drizzly. It was like Gotham City rain. Nice. Yeah, it was like drizzly. It was midnight. Um, Has where we were at the bar is a college town. There's, there's a street university lights. there. Um, street lights. Yeah, all that stuff. I took him through an old neighborhood that I grew up in. 
showed Randy yeah. some sights, drove him into where I live now, deep into the woods. And yeah, Randy's we, seen uh, my house. Yeah, well, and not only that, but like the your childhood house. I really yeah. liked when we went out back and we unburied that box of pornos and we uh-huh. just reminisced about the good old times of porn. Bro, like Swank from 1990 is a killer. Yeah, like under yeah. the start, like the articles in Playboy, like, oh my God, who knew? Like very yeah. thought provoking. Yeah. So Cody, that's, and that's when we ended up calling you as we were in my driveway. And I said, oh, shit, we should call Cody. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) was there porn in the car? No. No? Yeah, I just made all that up. Sorry. I was going to say, like, that'd be funny. (laughs) All right. So, Cody, this is where the real story begins, right? Because all that stuff with my family, all right, that's that's fun and everything, but it's boring to everybody. Um, This is At some point in this evening, Randy's mania starts, okay? I don't know what the hell kind of episode he's going through. I'm going to call it some sort of mania. Zoomies. Um, The man gets the zoomies. Yeah, the zoomies. And so, so Randy heads back to his hotel room, but Randy doesn't go to sleep. Yeah. And Randy has to go back to Newark the next day. Then Randy realizes that the <laughs> hotel he booked. Well, what happened, Randy? <laughs> he got Mandela affected. <laughs> fucking bullshit. Fucking, I know I booked it right next to fucking Kristen. <laughs> fucking, it was one hundred and eighty-three dollars. Fucking, go to check my email. Fucking gone. I think. uh I think where I did that one favor for you, Cody, I got some little Russian bitch uh, on my heels coming at me because I've had like three attacks on my Gmail in the last two months. But luckily, I got that two factor phone that nobody knows about. So whatever that favor was. Thank you. Randy thought I failed. I (laughs) I fucking had to hand it off. So Randy needs to find a hotel room because the one he thought he had doesn't exist. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So the like, reservation I'm, I'm, doesn't I'm, exist, or the actual fucking hotel both. is not. The, oh, <laughs> yeah, both. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so I get on, you know, Sezzle, uh, where you can four pay stuff because you know funds are tight. Uh, so uh, find hotels dot com. They have a grab bag special. Don't know where the hotel's at, but I'm like, fuck yeah, just book it. Uh, so fuck that shit. <laughs> but uh, it needs to be near you so you can be inside. Well, the it, no, bed. it was near. It was near Newark. It was within, you know. Near I, Newark is like New York, technically. Well, it was Chinatown. <laughs> was it Chinatown, New York? <laughs> yeah, it was Good. Chinatown, New York hotel. Okay. Uh, the like, picture uh, had a yeah. U-Haul in front of it. Yeah, whatever. So fucking. I goddamn like I finally fucking get over there right and like this is like I ended up going to like a lot more happened before I got to the hotel so let me kind of back up some uh so I booked another thirteen dollar comedy show uh, from Eventbrite near the hotel you know thought it'd be cool it was this chick uh, Ashley Gavin ever hear of her no no okay well. Turns out I bought a ticket to a potential terrorist attack. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, that's kind of the, the highlight. She didn't tell us that till the end of the show. Uh, but, uh, you know, that, that's, that's what she closed with. Um, I was wondering why there was 12 armed guards around the whole perimeter. And then, like, a lot of things started to make sense. So, hold on. So, Ashley Gavin has the We're Having Gay Sex podcast. She's a lesbian. Kind of reminds me of my seventh grade PE teacher. It was like a prolific lesbian. She converted like three teachers and the treasurer. And uh, wow, like she had a hair lip. And, wow. Like, wow. She really liked Worcestershire Shire Shosh. That's but she couldn't say Worcestershire Shire Shosh. Not with a hair lip. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, she taught me everything I know about the female anatomy. That's all I'll say. Um, Go ahead. Go ahead. God bless Miss Moore. Um, anywho. Um, Go ahead. So Goodness. so that that's who this chick is, you know? Uh really trying to bring the F slur back. It's cool. Um but apparently she just got canceled by the right for making an abortion joke and then telling a heckler to kill themselves. <laughs> um <laughs> not a, not the best look. Uh so uh, so like she closes the show with like a hey, by the way, y'all bought a ticket to a potential terrorist attack. Good on you. And I'm like, "Whoa, what?" Like, "Whoa, what?" <laughs> And then she tells the story about how she got canceled and like how she got a bunch of threats saying they were going to shoot up her comedy club and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh, fucking so much stuff makes sense now. Like I was walking up to people before the show, like, hey, what's up? You know, and you're trying to talk. And then they would like leave the bar. And I thought I was just being annoying. They thought I was the fucking Republican that was going to pull the trigger, man. That's what it was. Every fucking one of them. They judged the shit out of me. Yeah. 
It's just like, who's the guy that doesn't fit? Uh oh. <laughs> just beep, 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 beep. Yeah, that's what it was. There was a guy like Thor. He looked like Thor. <laughs> he was the bus boy, but he was totally hiding a gun. What time did you uh, go to sleep? Well, I haven't really slept. I, I've <laughs> had like 13 hours of sleep off and on since last Wednesday. So, yeah, so Randy's Why? <laughs> Because <laughs> CVS didn't get my sleep meds in till like Tuesday, oh. and it takes five days to build up in my system. If I can, we live in a third world country now. Like you can't get your goddamn medicine. Mm. It's fucking. Uh, how was crazy. your hotel room? <laughs> oh yeah. So I thought that was going to be the highlight of the night, <laughs> the potential wow. terrorist attack thing. So I leave, uh, and I go, and I needed weed. So there was a smoke shop next door. As as you do, you walk in and you start chatting to the guys. And um, he had weed, so he asked for my card. Well, this motherfucker from Yemen uh, zapped my card while pitching me a timeshare in fucking Turkey. All right? He had fucking, he's like, look at this fucking timeshare in Turkey I just got back from. I can get you in at the ground floor. I probably should have known, but he he sold me a two-gram fucking cart (laughs) that probably is laced with fentanyl. Like, I've never gotten higher than I got (laughs) higher than, like... That's probably. I'm not yeah. even fucking kidding. That's uh, probably so I furniture that polish types. and fentanyl. Yeah, I made in some dude's garage, just ball sweat <laughs> driven down. Anyways, uh, he, he told me that if I came back uh, the next day, he would give me a mushroom bar, but he wasn't there. Um, so, anywho, uh, so then I start heading towards the hotel. So I head over there and I find a parking garage, like finally, because like every building around this hotel is fucking abandoned. Like, it's just, like, abandoned shit from fucking soup to nuts. Except for the hotel that has a U-Haul in front of it. Um, Anyways, so I see that, and there's, you know, a lot of people standing outside of it. A little weird. Um, But I find a fucking parking garage. That's whenever I, after I turn my keys over to the parking garage attendant, which was weird, I thought. He, but he was very fucking serious. He was like, you just drive over there, get out of the car, leave the keys in the ignition. And I was like. It's a fob. What do I do with a fob? He's like, bring me the fucking fob. I was like, oh, okay. So I had to bring him the fob. Anyway, so like, I, I, and then I get on my GPS, and it's in it, it, the Google Maps listing is literally just a picture of a fucking U-Haul, and my heart sank. I was like, god damn it. And it was like three blocks or four blocks, something around the fucking thing. I had to walk. Uh, so, anyways, I take off walking. Um, go under this underpass, and like. 13 to 15 Honduran teenagers come out of the shadows. You went under a New Jersey underpass? (laughs) With Well, I left all my shit in the car, luckily. But I had a water bottle. Uh, So, like, as they approached out of the shadows, I go... (laughs) And, like, you know, it starts to flare up. turned it upside down. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot this audio. Uh, So I turn the water bottle upside down, and then I look around, and I say... Just so you boys know, I'm under the employee of Sir Richard Dickman. And under the old rules, I shall pass through the city unmolested. <laughs> and then I started walking. And they fucking ignored me. Uh, Endurance, huh? <laughs> so that worked. Uh, thank you, Dresden Files, for teaching me of the Unseelie Accords. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so I finally fucking make it to the hotel. And uh, they have like a tiny little sign blinking. This hotel Richland or whatever. And I'm like, fuck, I'm hungry. And there was a little literal, like, you walk up these stairs and there's a hole in the wall. And you could get a chicken cheeseburger. Because <laughs> they didn't know what the fuck they were doing. Uh <laughs> like it was called a chicken cheeseburger. Uh <laughs> like I fucking got a chicken cheeseburger <laughs> from these I don't know what. I, I just don't know where they were from. They didn't tell me. Um, but like, it was a very difficult, like I had to Google translate, like, uh, it was, it was, it was Mandarin is what the Google wow. translate was. So that's, but, uh, yeah, yeah. We had to Google translate to, for me to order the che- chicken cheeseburger sandwich. Was it good? Fries. No, no, it was, it was very pink in the middle. I oh, don't no. know if that's normal. Yeah. No, I ate the whole thing, but no. you know, mm. that's, uh, it's fine. Um, anywho, so I get out, carry that out and like. You know, go in and get in there. Fucking 
fuck New York, first of all. Like, why the fuck they bother advertising a fucking price anywhere? Whenever you fucking get done, there's a fucking maintenance fee. You got your goddamn, you rode the elevator fee. You got your fucking, I wore a tie today fee. You got your fucking, I got a map from 2004 and you need directions to the nearest public transit fee. Like, the, the fucking junk fees are fucking ridiculous. So, like, I'm fucking zapped, remember. And I'm fucking trying to find 20 goddamn dollars to give this fucking dude so that I can finally go to sleep. And uh, finally, Kristen figures out a place to borrow it from, whatever. Get done. Get past this boss. Uh, and he finally lets me go upstairs. I get upstairs. It's a fucking cruise ship suite. Like, it's literally like a cruise, like the cruise ship suite we had. Like, it is tiny. tiny. And I'm on the 11th floor, and there's only fucking four rooms on the 11th floor. Like, and then I realized this is just a tall, skinny fucking building. I don't know what it was, but it was fine. Uh, you know, had a cool little bath. I took a bath, got water <laughs> everywhere. Um, anyways, uh, couldn't yeah. So next phone. morning, huh? You couldn't charge your phone. Yeah, I couldn't charge my phone. It died around five thirty. Yeah, so Randy um, was up all night. He was like texting me at three in the morning too, and tweeting <laughs> some great tweets out there. <laughs> Fucking fire! Uh, <laughs> nice. <clears throat> but um. Oh shit. Uh so the next morning I have a crisis. I have to figure out how to refill my gas tank. Uh so I can turn in the rental car. And so uh I text my buddy from like 4 years ago who borrowed $200 and ghosted me. Uh, another Italian friend. So it was an Italian miracle. Oh, wow. Uh <laughs> I'm like, "Hey bud, yo, you, you know, you borrowed that $200. You send me 75 now, we'll call her even and we can fucking be friends again." And he just replies by sending me $250 on Venmo Aww. and then says, sorry, I've been a huge piece of shit for the last four years. <laughs> and, then, and now we're friends again. So like, it was like, fuck yeah, that Hail Mary paid off, you know? Uh, so I got to finally get on my plane and there you go. the fuck nice. out of Newark. Yeah. It was so a little what, touch and go at times. What we're missing um, here, I'm Cody, missing some stuff. is like the mania of it all where Randy would send me text after text after text after text after text because he can't put all his thoughts into one text. He's got to keep sending hit enter. Uh No, I just did that to annoy you. That had nothing to do with mania. Okay. Um, The lack of sleep, right? Like I was actually worried about him actually finding the airport so he knew (laughs) he was. But um, Randy, did you have a good weekend? Yeah, overall. (laughs) I mean... I was a little fucking worried at times. I'm not gonna Holy lie, I, you know, like it. Uh, the Hondurans they have five stars, right? It's five stars. I don't know. They had armbands. That's the only reason I know. Like, don't come at me. Like, I'm pretty sure five stars is Honduran. Fuck off. It was weird. Yeah, Cody, what do you think? Something. Oh, I forgot about the lady at the Dollar Tree who told me where cats came from. Oh, um, yeah. Apparently. God made them on Noah's Ark because the rats got out of control. That God always working yeah. miracles, like, moving in mysterious. I was just and like, fuck, I just showed ways. you my Jesus AI art with Jesus and Eminem about to do rap God, man. Like, what the fuck are you yeah. fucking doing? Randy was pimping yeah. that shit out at the party too. He was showing everybody Jesus and Eminem making rap God. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Randy was a big hit. Randy was a big hit. My mother texted me the next day and she said, I think, you know, what a great time it was. And Randy was a blast to talk to. Um, sure. My wife hasn't said anything about her conversation with you, Randy. Like you asked me, Uh-oh. what's her opinion of me? I, I don't think she really had one because <laughs> that's a win for Randy yeah, I don't right she, there. I think she stopped listening to me like three and a half minutes into my promo about you. Yeah. So like uh, it was my favorite part was when you introduced me and I was like, Oh, I've heard so many great things. <laughs> <laughs> so many. I also, and I she also was like, name five. And I was like, uh, well, like, your eyes? Yep. Uh, you're, you're, you're fucking the way you raise your kids? Uh, ass. You're good at your job? Uh, Dead and ass. you gave them a good blowjob in like, you know, 2017. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Shit, wow. fuck you, Randy. I was going to say something else. I don't remember what. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I got, we got a, lot of, got a lot of compliments. for. Oh, Ra- Randy Randy had no problem. What, that's it. Randy had no problem, like, just talking to my family. Like, he, Randy was just like, Randy, Randy's a, if you don't, if you haven't met Randy in real life, you have to, uh, because Randy is a special individual in real life. But I had to, see, I introduced you to my older kids on purpose, Randy, because um, my daughter, well, first of all, nobody in my, you know, in my immediate family here in the house could understand why a stranger from Ohio 
would come all this way to yeah, somebody else's that. parents' it's 50th for anniversary. five and a half hours. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it, it sounds like there was a oh, lot sorry. of... My bad. There's yeah. a lot of um, after adventure too. But my my daughter who's got is going through some anxiety stuff and she's like, "Well, why is he why is he why is he doing that?" And I'm like, "Cuz he's my friend." And she's like, "Well, does does he have a gun?" I'm like, "What?" And she's like, "Is he going to come like shoot all of us?" Is, I think I don't know legally couldn't own guns. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I introduced Randy to my daughter and my old my older son and I was like, "See, sweetheart, Randy doesn't Randy, do you have a gun?" And Randy's like, "No, I can't legally own guns." I'm like, "See, he doesn't have a gun. He's not that crazy." <laughs> Why would they think you have a gun? Because we fucked up kids, Cody. We oh, fucked up no. kids with school shootings and COVID and they're all fucking crazy now. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I think we should cover every suicide like it's a school shooting. You know, because there's a lot more of those. Well, it's more fun to go after white kids who shoot up schools. Did you hear Pence like he wants to do a mandatory quick death sentence for any school shooter? I'm like, no, I like don't... It, that's not a real deterrence. <laughs> you know, like they already have a death wish or they wouldn't be shooting up. Yeah, school. I don't listen to Pence or anybody because fuck them all. Oh, dude, all he right. took an edible last night. Like he admitted on stage that he fucks his wife. <laughs> What? what a weird yeah. thing. He was like, he's like, oh, yeah, my wife, who I've slept with for 38 years. What this, the? This is fuck. <laughs> I got to talk to Chris O.C. because of politics like this. This is awesome. God damn. Oh, man. And then fuck. fucking Vivek, man, up there being humble, trying to unite everybody after he was such a shitbag last fucking Like, it was the best. It made me what laugh you, so hard. What'd you call him? Vivek. It's like it rhymes with cake. It's not Vivek? No, it's Vivek. He Cody, do you know this? Who are we talking? I don't even know who we're talking about. Vivek Ramaswamy, the Cincy boy. No, I thought it was Maybe. Vivek. He's right. Vivek. Oh, all right. Well, that's Randy's adventure to Connecticut. Randy, I had a blast. All right, I had a lot of fun driving you around and hanging out in the car with you. So thanks for coming out, man. My my yeah. parents really appreciate it, especially my mom. She loved it. Oh, uh-huh. well, How we're going to start speech? a. Her, your mom and I are going to start a hospice podcast. Oh, that's your right. Your speech. Yeah, tell you Cody know, about my speech. Like, you know how, like, Obama was a catty bitch, like, in debates and stuff? Mm-hmm. You know, like, he would just annihilate people? Like, yeah. like, that, like that one lady who, uh, fucking the moderator who was, like, trying to get somebody to shut up, and he's like, say it louder for the people in the back, or whatever, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> such a catty bitch. Anyways, uh, you remind me of Obama, is what I'm getting Oh, at. shit. Like, you know? Yeah, like, it was fucking you Obama that, speech. Like, you, you're even doing the little thing a lot. Yeah. Uh, I got that from Bill fucking, Clinton, but... All right. Oh, Thanks. Well, he's got, okay. So, so Cody, here's the thing. Clinton. And I want you to think about this before you decide to go any further in your relationship with Amara. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay. This is important. Sure. So, you know, I, I wrote my speech, right? And I didn't really talk about it in the house because I know what the reaction is. And then, so my son asks me the next morning, Hey, dad, did you finish writing that speech? And he asked me, like, right for my mom, uh, excuse me, my wife. And, and my wife's like, ooh, you wrote a speech? Ooh, can I read it? I'm like, no, you can't read it. I'm not done with it. And she's like, oh, can I read it when you're done? I'm like, sure, when I'm done with it. Because, but you know, all those great writers were never done. You know that, Cody. Of course. Yeah. So I give the speech. Right? I do my thing. All right. And I got some, you know, I got some laughs where I was supposed to get some laughs. And, I had, you know, I think I did. I did all right. I would have done better if I didn't have my phone okay. looking at it. The seventh but, slow clap I tried to start was a little annoying. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah it's a little, wow, right. no, no. But, you know, I finish. And I'm walking away, and people say, hey, great, great job. Great job, Rem. That was excellent. Oh, man, that was, you know, I'm getting all that stuff. And I go over to my, my wife, the love of my life, my, the, my biggest supporter, my biggest fan. All right, she owns all my T-shirts. And I said, I said, so, what would you think? How was the speech? You know what she said to me, Cody? What would you say to you, Rem? It was a little long. Hmm. You probably could have cut five minutes off of it. Man, that's your fault, dude. Like, you got to remind her that she's the fucky, and you're the fucker. Like... <laughs> You got to fucking set shit straight because it's out of fucking order. There's a hierarchy, Rim. Like, I'm fucking like, reminder. And I'm just like, I'm like, well, God damn. Like, wait, geez, you couldn't wait till tomorrow yeah, to say that. Then you get to serve yeah, up like, well, which five minutes would you cut? You know what I mean? Yeah. So oh, yeah. No, like, ask her why. Like, why do you yeah. have that opinion, honey? And then yeah, watch I, your short circuit. I just learned that from you uh, just yesterday, Randy. So I'm yeah. going to try that next time. All right. So that's that's our, that's our Connecticut trip. That's our roundup. Um, I missed last week because my, my work schedule has been fucking crazy. But thank you guys for covering it and then all that stuff. So I think we can get into a normal rhythm once more. Uh, all right. We, we opened up the Jesus? show. Yeah, yeah. So we opened up the show with some with some fun. All right. Randy and I in the car and Cody on the phone. 
All right. We talked, That's told me. our story. Everybody's caught up, up to date. Okay. We're not, we're not going to talk about the, the Canadian parliament giving a standing ovation to a Nazi. Okay. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> okay. That was the best <laughs> That was like my favorite thing in politics since Biden did Despacitas for Spanish Heritage Month. No, here's a guy. Here's a guy who fought the Russians in World War II. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> It is. And then they just had the fucking Indians come in and just fucking lay their fucking balls across Canada. They fucking killed a Canadian s- citizen on Canadian soil. And Justin Trudeau's just like, oh. fuck. He didn't. He doesn't have anything. He's just opening and closing his mouth repeatedly. Oh, Canada is so stupid. Um, and we're not going to talk about um, we're not going to talk about politics here in America. All right, even though Randy tried. Okay, uh, what else is happening in the world? Um, Oh, they're trying to bring COVID back. We're not talking about that either. My favorite what? thing about the debate last night wasn't even the debate. Before the debate, they cut to Kelly and Conway, and the dude that I was watching break it down was like, "Oh, Kelly Ann's got that thousand mile stare. Like she just saw the revenue from her daughter's OnlyFans." <laughs> I almost wrecked my goddamn car because I was taking a hit and I got fucking laughing, <laughs> oh, coughing, shit. and I was like, "Oh God, I'm gonna pass out. This is how I Randy Savage out." <laughs> <laughs> I pulled it together. I got uh, able to have pulled over to the shed to the show. Yes. Uh. Uh, all right. But we're going to jump right into Jesus because it's been two weeks. All right. Since we did our Jesus AI. I even forgot what the freaking theme was. Oh, my God. I don't even know who won. Christ and Ghostbusters in 1984. Okay. So I won because that's obviously my prompt, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So Jesus Christ and Ghostbusters in 1984. AI. And you can find these these pictures. You can find them in several places. Okay. You can find them. At richstickman.com with the show post. Randy, if he ever updates what would Jesus draw, you'll find new ones, but you'll see the old ones there. I can't even pay for that. You can't even pay for it. Um, and you can find them on my Instagram, at Rem Dickman. I post do show posts, and I, with each show post come to Jesus Art. So you can find them there. All right, Rem first. You had Jesus Christ of Nazareth battling the Slay Puff Marshmallow Man atop the altar to Zul. What okay. did she and say? You also at our, at our Discord, tiny tiny URL dot com slash trds one. Stay yeah, puffed, right? Stay puffed. It better not be slay puffed. Oh. I'll fucking strangle you if you write slay puffed. <laughs> I totally fucking did. All right, throw it right, in Discord. Here we go. Too. Let's fucking see this shit. Uh, you see that? I see. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's it. That's pretty badass. That, okay, so <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put it in the Discord. Yeah, throw it in the Discord yeah, so I can see yeah, it better. Yeah. But ba- so we have the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man looks like a man in a marshmallow bunny costume, right? Sorry. And he's he's on a cloud of marshmallows. <laughs> Is that an altar behind him? Okay, no. Okay, now I can. It looks like a lectern it. or something. Yeah, there's a lectern. Okay, so so the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man he has human hands. He's holding foam marshmallows and he's in like a marshmallow snowman costume. It kind of has a bunny rabbit face, and he's on a cloud of marshmallows. There's a lectern behind Jesus Christ is there blessing him on his forehead. There's That's no what that is. yep yeah yeah. There's no Ghostbusters going on here aside from the marshmallow kind of connection. Jesus does look a little back. piratey. I'm noticing. Yeah, he's you're right, Cody. There's some pirate to that. He's, he's, yeah, the sashes, there's like satin sashes he's wearing with his vestments seem kind of Italianish piratey. So I don't know prompt accuracy, but um, it is it is a fun picture. It certainly. Is okay, fun. epic scale, one to five, Cody. Uh, I'm having a hard time tricking myself. Like these guys are giants because like there seems to be like. Uh, a scalp, scalp in the foreground that isn't yeah. giant. So I got to go with like a two for epic scale. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go okay. four on epic scale because I, I just, I, this picture makes me go, wow. I'll make it a three. Okay. Right. Have a nice Overall cloudy style. background. Are we still doing prompt accuracy? Yeah, that's, uh, that's the next. third one. That's next. Okay. I, I thought that was, I thought that, I thought that it's came first. fucking list, sorry. dude. Like I got to click buttons and shit. Like what, have, what I mean, do you fucking want? The style, style is kind of generic though. Like that's, yeah. You know he's in he's in a the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. It's a, it's a costume. It's basically a bunny costume with no ears. <laughs> no, that's kind of yeah. What do you think, two Cody? Yeah, yeah. It's not my best work. Good. I like right. it, it's, but it's not going to win. Yeah. Yeah, two is fine for style. Now prompt accuracy. Uh, what was no, the prompt no, again? Go. Jesus Christ of Nazareth battling the Slay. Stay, stay. It does say stay. I can't read. Puff Marshmallow Man atop the altar to Zul. 
Okay, so they're not on the altar. Oh, that's the altar in the battle. Yeah, the I mean that's an altar, but it's not right. the altar of Zul. And this looks like he's blessing him, not battling him. Like Stave of Marshall Man looks like he's ready to battle, but Jesus is offering a blessing. So well, that's which what Jesus is do. what Jesus would do. So oh, accuracy yeah. high. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm saying three. Four. Give it a three, four. Uh, we'll go three. Yeah, Rim, Rim, he wins a lot. So fucking. All right, Rim, your score. Uh, fuck, I fucking clicked out. God damn it. Uh, your score this week is one twenty six. Even. All right. All right. On to that me. Sucks. Jesus Christ of Nazareth giving a blowjob to a ghost unwillingly. <laughs> what did you use yeah. for a real prompt? Oh, he's that, I literally put that in. Really? Yeah, I can put it in on this new thing. Okay. What do you think? Uh, I'm getting ready to put it in the Discord. Yeah. Is he smoking a blunt, or is that like an atomizer? Or uh, looks like, like an a, atomizer. He's summoning the ghost, so he can suck his dick. Yeah. So you got well, Jesus. He's oh, wearing vestments. He's in. He's in a room with like stone walls and maybe a stone column. It could be the cave. And it looks like he's like smoking a joint. But that's not a joint in his hand. It's, it's some type of vaporizer, a- atomizer type of thing. Looks and there's like there's smokiness all around egg. him. And one could make the argument that the smokiness is a ghost coming. I don't see any type of sexual activity. I don't see a blowjob here. It's ghost. You but can't it's see ghosts, his mouth is open. idiot. And, and it looks like Curious Jesus. By Curious Jesus? Is yeah. That what he said? Yeah. All right. Okay, epic scale. One. One. Again, I don't know how we're defining epic. I, I like I, my, 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 gut says, my gut says like two or three. It's got a nice okay. well, atmosphere. Yeah, we can give it a two or yeah, three. Yeah, looks like a good place to do mushrooms. We'll, we'll give it a two. Overall style. It's good lighting, good atmosphere yeah. again. Yeah, I, li- I like the picture of Jesus here. You know, his, hang- his fingers are pretty pretty good, pretty put together. I'd go three. Three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, okay. And prompt accuracy. Mm, He's not Jesus. unwilling. He looks very willing. I don't see... <laughs> We're talking about the ghost part, Randy. Oh, I see yeah, there, 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 there's little evidence. Tough. There's little evidence. There's a ghost involved or ghost busting at all going on here. I think the AI doesn't know what ghost busting is. Okay, one, right? Or two? Maybe two. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely not all right. One. That gives me a solid rating of one hundred. Oh, uh, it's flat. Nice. Let's get to Cody. Jesus, Jesus Christ line. of Nazareth, baptizing Bill Murray in Ghostbuster attire. I just remember what this one looks like. In New York subway, flooded with pink slime. <laughs> Do it. There you go. And That's me, exactly uh, okay. what we all wanted. We don't Not even a- need to score it. <laughs> I love how I love how it couldn't parse like a subway platform or a subway tunnel it's just this is inside of a subway car <laughs> check it out the, inside of the subway car both sides look like the outside of a subway car yeah and there's crazy? a ticket yeah, but counter a hand is coming through the yeah. fucking window on the yeah there's a hand with that? a ticket it does I mean, it does look like pink <laughs> it does look like the slime from it does not look like bill murray it does look like the prop slime from ghost it, well, it looks like Jesus bill murray if he was trying to be adam driver which yeah, they just so did okay. a movie together so, so just to describe the picture, it's Jesus Christ wearing a pink raincoat over his vestments, waist deep in slime <laughs> inside of a subway car, and there's somebody whose head is Not popping out Murray. of the slime with hands is getting blessed. And he's holding the bar for safety. Yep, he's holding the bar, and there's also hands coming in from the window on the outside. Could be a ticket guy. Um, They're but just trying could, to get an autograph, but, dude. No, yeah. they, they, they need to see your tickets on subways. That's how it works. Cody absolutely wins this one. I, we don't even need to score it, but you can if you want to. Well, yeah, just for fucking. Uh, All right. Uh, let's see. Epic scale, like four. five. Fuck you. It's a five. Overall style, four. Four. And prompt accuracy, fucking got to be a five. Maybe a four. Four. It's it's not Bill Murray. Murray. Yeah. That's okay. About it. So let's see. Oh, it's a squeaker. Really? Rim. Remember you had. Oh wait, your your rating updated to ninety six. Not a squeaker. Cody wins with one thirty six point five. Yeah, oh, and he's changed to 166. I don't know why. Why? It's the RNG. Don't, the RNG shouldn't be resampled. I'm winner. All right. Cody, you get to pick. Yeah. <laughs> it's the AO mystical algorithm science. that decides who wins. <laughs> um, oh, shit. 279. WWJD. Cody. One. 
I kind uh, I'm theme. I'm, I'm really right digging this like New York Jesus aesthetic. What can we do here, okay. boys? You know what I mean? Like, I know what I would do. Jesus uh, Christ making friends in Chinatown. Yeah, uh, no, I would. Well, that's one, but I would do something that happened uh, twenty twenty two years ago. <laughs> Okay, let's Eight? do let's do Jesus Christ trying to blend in as a, as as a New York as best as he can as a New Yorker. Jesus Christ as a New Yorker. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still like cracking up over the age joke. Fucking what? <laughs> Fucking <laughs> Jesus Christ as a New sorry. Yorker. Do, time period, Cody, or just as a New Yorker? Uh, modern day, like right, 2024. Jesus as a 2024. Okay. Oh, 9/11. Nope. I fucking forgot nope. 9/11. Yeah, nope, I, I would have done Jesus in 9/11. <laughs> Never forget, Randy. Um, <laughs> it's the second plane that I always forget. Like it snuck up on me. Um, all right, Jesus all right. Christ as a, as a 2024 New Yorker. As a okay. 2024 New Yorker. Yeah. What do we? Uh, you want to lock in a light light? Uh, oof. Do we want to lock in a art style? N a art style. I don't. No, I don't think so. Nor I think that'll that'll no limit us too much. N I N O I R. I don't think you can hand. Uh, I don't know. Let's I just leave it open. Let's leave it open. Okay. New York. Right. Jesus says it's a twenty twenty. I got. I'm ready to go. If you guys aren't, I know you what got. I what you got? Oh, hold on. Let me if I can get rims. All right, right, Cody. I'm gonna need your help wording this one. Okay. I always got you. I always got you. You know when you get off the subway. Mm-hmm. And you're walking through the subway station. What are we talking about? The subway platform always, or the subway car? The subway car? The subway station. The subway, subway station. station. You get out of the people subway station. Always, they're gathered around some sort of performance. Yeah, there's buskers. Yeah. I want Jesus doing a subway performance. I want Jesus um, playing playing pots and pans drums to a crowd of people in the subway station. <laughs> he's, so, he's playing that song from Doug. Banging on a, a trash, trash can. can. Yeah, I would do it as yeah, a you fucking got Judas over there. Strumming on a street. My <laughs> Jesus just, and his disciples and playing his disciples. <laughs> playing playing a, a garbage can drum. You should just say Jesus and his disciples doing stomp in New York City. But would AI know what stomp is? Mm, okay. You yeah. Can do so like, Jesus you, and you his can disciples. say like you doing can say a like flash mob, a no. percussion. No. A percussion, playing live percussion on on pots and pans and garbage cans. Yeah, on makeshift to a drum. crowd. Yeah, to a crowd of to a crowd of bystanders and in a New York subway station. Okay. Modern day. In a modern ultra day. realistic. Modern day New York sub. Yeah. Okay. Station, ultra. Okay. Real. Let's okay. Good. Okay. Okay. All right. So there's that. Uh, so now let's fucking click out of there. Here. Oh, I gotta put it in. A, okay. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try and joke. I'm just gonna try and land the most New Yorker image I like can conjure and throw up through like AI right now for this Jesus All right. guy. Right on two seventy eight WWJD Cody one. <clears throat> All right. Then I gotta go. Uh, I gotta change this filter real quick. Oh my god. The 278 so that rim shows up so I can copy shit from rims. Uh I got a copy. There's, oh, I could have just typed There's that. no way to have this done already or silent in your head. <laughs> yeah, because I know what the fucking theme is beforehand. Rim. Yeah, we he only okay. got it a second ago, but Jesus fucking Christ. You don't need to outward process. I, like I, I understand that your I mean, wife fucking oppresses your man. You could just type it into well, a Google Doc like, and then do it later. You don't fucking know anything, all right? Mm. Sorry, I was channeling Donald Trump yeah. there. Uh, okay, ready, Cody. Jesus Christ of Christ. Nazareth on a commuter train wearing business professional clothing. Doing key bumps. Um, one sock and one shoe removed. He's drinking a beer with a sock over it. <laughs> Alex, uh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's Rem. This this is a very New Yorker thing. This okay. is all, almost as New York as the New York fold of the pizza crust. It is called socking it, and 
when you don't have a brown paper bag to you put it in a sock you to comply with <laughs> paper law that round paper bag you can put it in your sock and that's how you, you that's 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 how you are allowed to drink beer on the long island railroad is if you put the fucking can in your sock and drank it if you didn't have that's a brown amazing. paper bag okay let's see what ai can do with it all right cool i like it cody and, and, and got, the thing man? is oh. you would think like th- th- oh that's like some kind of upstate hunter like putting his beer in a sock is just like no it's like yep. the most elite wall street like gre- hair greased back fucker you've seen in your life just drinking a regular strength like bud not a bud light just a regular strength red and white bud probably from the 1970s through <laughs> a fucking sock it's amazing and then it's just it's just what you have to do. It's the bare minimum you have to do to get the ticket punchers. You can't you can't call him a conductor because the conductor's the guy who's you know yeah, the conductor's the on head the switchboard. Of the yeah, yeah. The ticket takers. Yeah, ticket yeah these are punchers or whatever. Yeah, they'll they'll leave you alone if they see the sock. If they see you cared enough to take your shoe off and your sock, they'll leave you alone. It's like it's like some kind of like Elden ritual. <laughs> Just like, hey, witness. I know the rules. Witness my sock juice. Yeah, I know All the right. rules. You can't, you can't touch me if I like honor the truce and socking my beer. And they're like, you're right. I can't socking my beer. All right, Randy, what okay. do you got? Photograph of Jesus Christ of Nazareth eating a large slice of pepperoni pizza. Uh, of new or wait, a huge slice of pepperoni pizza at a New York pizzeria wearing an I love New York t shirt. That's very, and you know, New Yorkers don't actually that own those one right? mud flap with the naked ladies. Hat. That's not a New York thing. Oh, I saw a lot of that. Don't tell me what it is. Yeah, Randy was just there. He was there more recently yeah. than you were, Cody. I was doing field research, motherfucker. Yeah, with Honduran. Right. I love it. I love it when you're so, when you're surprised. This is where I parked my car. I love it. When we should. Yeah, we should dude, do Jesus dude, handing out those flyers, telling the immigrants to go someplace else that they're handing out now. No. No. Okay. Oh, no. I mean, Mayor Adams. Yeah, Vivek doing. was uh, trying to end uh, citizenship. For kids that are from illegal parents, fucking good. Stay in your own fucking countries. God damn it. <sighs> it is a very right. easily exploitable <laughs> thing. Well, that's like the Fourteenth Amendment, though. <laughs> you know, like that's a, yeah. that's a lot of legwork to, to change an amendment to the Constitution. You know? I thought that the Fourteenth Amendment was how they're going to get Trump from from running or something. I'm so confused. My amendments. I don't know. Don't care. Okay, that's enough. Thank you, uh, Cody and Randy and me one. for the Jesus stuff. It's always a highlight of the show. All right, we're running out of time here. Cody, you got anything else going on, my friend? No, no. All right. You ready for next week? We're gonna have a, a whole brand new episode with all of our segments, all of our advice. This Cody reads copy. This will be nice. Yeah, Randy's working out a deal for you to read for the uh, hotel he stayed at last this last weekend. I hope I see yep. a red scent oh, from any of this. Yes. Oh, you know what? Let's just fucking wing it, Cody. No, don't know. No, nope, not, no. <laughs> nope, not, no, not tonight. We're not sponsored I'm done. tonight. This is an unsponsored done. episode. Not Randy, it. it was so good to see you this past weekend, pal. Yeah, it was, Rim. It was great to see you too, buddy. Yeah. And I just want to say to everybody out there, if you're planning on having a 50th anniversary party, look no further than the Hawthorne uh, Casamia. <laughs> The guy will have on a white jacket and a red shirt. You'll be able to see him. And he fucking still thinks it's 1973. That was a great transition into a commercial, though. You have to admit, that was perfect. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, that guy. Let's bring this fucking baby home. Thank you, everybody, for listening nice. once again. Ray, uh, we love it when you do, so thank you so oh, much. Oh, pro travel trip. Don't shower before you fly. And they'll give you an extra seat in the exit row. Yep, I think that's right. Uh, if you like what we do, you want to support the show, tell a friend. <clears throat> or you can leave a review. Tell a friend, leave a review. Nice. Um, you can check out Patreon, patreon.com slash Rich Dickman. we got to get these videos things figured out and get those uploaded again. And uh, check out richdickman.com. For all your Rich Dickman needs, click the merch tab. We get a shirt, okay? we got the shirt on Amazon, Eat the Rich. we got some shirts through the other store as well. You can check those out. Uh, and you can see all the Jesus art at richdickman.com with every show post, as well as tinyurl.com slash trds1, which is our Discord. And again, my Instagram 
at Rem Dickman. You can find all the stuff there. Uh, follow us on X. That sounds so stupid. That sounds so stupid. I'm, I'm, I'm at Rem Dickman. Executive producer Randy's at Sir Zero with an E. My mother, happy anniversary, mommy, uh, is uh, at Rem underscore mama. Producer Ryan at Ryan TRDS going to Colorado with that boy in a couple of weeks. And of course, Cody McCann, star of the show. Cody, how do they find you, pal? I'm on X.com at Cody McCann, C O D Y M W C A double N. That's right, man. And he's been tweeting some fire lately, all right? These two have both. Posting. I've been are, posting some fire. Excuse me, posting some fire. No, right. yeah, it's right. so fucking stupid. If you still go to twitter.com, it takes you to X. Did you realize that? The URL for nope. X.com is still twitter.com. Is it really? Yeah, if you do, if you use like a web app, you, you're still oh. going. So like that, that's like the level of like, like God, you creativity Elon so has. It's just like I'll change the front of it. <laughs> oh, Randy, Randy, do your thing, baby. Oh yeah, I recently tweeted at Elon Musk. Uh, <laughs> okay, first of all, he okay. had on a fucking cowboy hat and shades. At the Mexico border. And I said, uh, you left your douchebag Snapchat filter on by mistake, fucking boomer. Uh, anyways, that was, that was the nice. Thing. Good job, Rand. I, like I like the tweet at Elon about his fucking ketamine. You realize he never, he's never seen it, right? Well, uh, that's not true. You know, I fucking Elon messaged me and wanted me to invest. I got okay. a picture of his yeah, fucking yeah. passport and yep. a CIA oh, identification. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, right. those are nice things uh, to have. Get into get into the voicemail, all right? Because I just got an oh. email. I got an email from yeah. Google saying if we don't use our voicemail line again, they're going to take it. Because eight six zero three one six four seven seven six. Leave a fucking voicemail, Svenson. Okay. Jesus Christ. Anybody. And follow our Discord. Bit bit dot or tiny yeah. URL dot com slash. They do retire voice Google Voices if they're not used. I did that right. right. Yeah, it's great to see you guys again. All right, I'm sorry I missed you last week, but here we are. We're doing it once more, and we'll do it again next week. We're getting there. We're getting close. We're close to the end. Listen, mm-hmm. 21 episodes left. 22 episodes. Uh, we got to figure out how much right. violence is okay against kids. You know, a little bit. Like if they're misbehaving, just a little, like bit. Just a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Like, like little if bit. they don't want to go to school because they're afraid bit. to give a presentation. A little bit. Is it okay? They, like, bit. and they like wedge themselves in the door of the house. Just, oh, definitely. Okay, the kid. linebacker tackle bit. them. I mean, if they're being assholes, yes. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, and then refusing right. to buckle up a little bit. Cut it so you throw a cup of hot coffee on them. Cut yeah, your tracks. Yeah, that's a enough. little bit of coffee. That's a little bit hot. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of hot coffee. All right, this is two seventy eight. Oh my god! <laughs> I was sitting weird. I just this fucking dog cramped. is barking. It's not mine. That's mine. Oh, it's, the, it's Nova. She's tell her to shut the fuck up. Can... Neurodiverse. Hey, shut the fuck up, neurodiverse stupid, dog. Stupid bitch. Like, yeah. fucking. She's had, like, hair over her eyes, like, her whole life. So, like, they fucking cut it down, and her eyes fucking look goofy. <laughs> like, yeah, they fucking go this way. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Oh, look at, look at that, Rim. That looks new. 